Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome to ESS Mega or European Space Simulator Mega. Oh, hey, <laughs> so yeah, this is a maybe quite a, a more obscure game than I'm usually uh, usually extreme, but this is one of, of the games that actually were included in the. I think I mentioned in all the streams where how my uh, original PC, uh, my 486, came with a multimedia kit for just to show off the capabilities of the CD-ROM drive, and one of the games was this one, ESS Mega. It's of course one of those games that uh, they're very simple, very small, but they have a, an audio track. So if I put this on uh, that CD on a CD player, I could listen to the music. But yeah, I re it's not that deep of a game, but I I, I remember enjoying playing it I, even even after I figured out how to best play it. So I I w wanted to show it off, especially because I've actually looked around on YouTube and I couldn't find any playthrough of this. So I kind of want to at least document it <laughs> for posterity, you know, so see show it what it what it's like. But yeah, I've always uh, enjoyed uh, uh, learning about and f uh, reading about uh, space technology stuff and history. I mean, b even back in the day. Uh, actually, I have this uh, paper craft model that I, I made a, a while ago of the on a space shuttle. Yeah, made of paper. Space shuttle discovery. I'm open it. Look at it. Hold on. It even it attaches to the fuel tanks and rockets. Cool. Pretty big. And I also made uh, this more complex paper craft of the LEM. Lunar excursion module. module. Oh, hey, Amber. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, I just downloaded it off the internet, printed it, folded it, glued it, and it was done. And in back in 2016, I believe, I got the chance to go to New York to visit the Intrepid Museum of Aeronautics, and I saw this. I actually got to see uh, uh, the one of the space shuttles, even though I, th I think this one never flew, but it was only for testing. But yeah, that's the. It's me at near the space shuttle Enterprise. Pretty big. And this is me in the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> yeah, that there was a Star Trek experience thing nearby, uh, where they had uh, modules of mo uh, uh, they had reproductions of the of the of the rooms. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, like I said, I've always enjoyed learning about and uh, space science stuff. In fact, uh, I really, I really recommend this uh, documentary about, uh, uh, well, a documentary uh, produced by Tom Hanks called "From the Earth to the Moon." Really enjoyed it. I have the DVD box set. Really fun. So yeah, let's get started on this game. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, should be everything okay, right? Oh, hang on. Turn the volume a little down because it can get a little high. Should be fine, okay. Let's go. Yeah, it starts with game mode and demo mode. I think demo mode just shows all, all of the game screens one after the other. So, yeah, let's just go to game mode. Yes. <laughs> 
Two Ash on him. No third dots though, kind of weird. Tomahawk presents European Space Simulator Mega. <laughs> yeah, that's what ESS stands for. Very, very chill music. I believe they are a French company. Or... Might be wrong. Yeah, very French names there. Cocktail Vision, 91. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Never quite understood what the reason for this screen is. I mean, kind of makes you think, oh, is this part of the story? Is there, is there an astronaut trapped somewhere with, a, with their hose cut or something? No, there's just, just an image that pops up between the title and the credits and the, this main screen. Not sure why, but yeah, this is this is the main screen. Can can pretty move the mouse beyond this, but but yeah, this is the ISC Control Center, or I think International International Space Corporation, what it means. Uh, and yeah, I can actually already start, but uh, I want to actually go on a, start a new game because this is uh, you can when you start a new game, you can start on multiple different levels of difficulty, one through six. Uh, and I think. I'm not sure what else it does, but the, I know that the, def, the level of difficulty does uh, determine what kind of space station you need to build, the complexity of the space station, how many modules it, it uses or stuff. And I kind of like the space station from uh, level 5. I think it uses the, the, the most variety of models, even though it's not the hardest. Uh, yeah, it's, I think I want to go on level 5. So yeah, we got these big buttons on the back, on the bottom here. This button, where you get to choose what goes into your shuttle. Uh, as you might see, this is not actually a, a NASA space shuttle. So it's a, a different module, a module, a different uh, model of space space shuttle. But yeah, you get, you can uh, either. Pick a scientist with their experiments to make experiments in, in space, a technician to rep repair uh, broken satellites. You can send satellites, in, put satellites into orbit, or put uh, send uh, pieces of a space station to uh, complete to build the, the a space station. Each of them costs weights and costs money, and you so you gotta manage what you bring every for every trip. Here you can see which satellites you have in orbit. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Put this down a little. You can see the all the different orbits uh, of the satellites that you can you can put them in one, orbit one, two, three, or four. Time was passing a little too fast there. <laughs> uh, and here you can see your space station, your progress. So yeah, this is the blueprint. You already have one module there, which we'll be docking into to uh, to attach new modules. But and stock is what what there what is currently there. Right right now, there's no one there. <laughs> it's just one empty module and in orbit. Uh, this button is to obviously lift off, and here you have—I mean, you have your game, or you can have the main options menu like load, save, quit. Oh, hey, Norman. And here you have some interesting uh, history. 
yeah, Happy New Year. Might be, might already be 2021 over there. <laughs> So history has a little, a uh, little bit of educational content for for you. Uh, you can choose a language, French, uh, German, Italian, Spanish, and the British English or American English. Let's see British English. So here I can't actually show any videos because if I do, the game will actually crash. <laughs> the emu DOS emulation doesn't handle it, but I can show pictures. Sputnik 1, the first satellite. On October 4th, 1957, the USSR launched the first satellite to orbit the Earth between 227 and 1941 kilometers. Sputnik was an 83.6 kilometer aluminum. Wait, this is British English. Shouldn't it be aluminum? <laughs> aluminum sphere with a, a 58 centimeter diameter. It was used to measure the density, temperature, and concentration of electrons in the ionosphere. The rocket that, that launched it was an R-7, the first Soviet inter, intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missile. There's a picture, Sputnik 1. Laika, the first space dog. Sput Sputnik 2 was launched on November 3rd, 1957. Aboard was a young dog named Laika, the first living being to be put into orbit. Soviet scientists wanted to find out about how living things react to weightlessness. They also wanted to study radiation in space. This experiment was a crucial first step that foreshadowed the first human spaceflight. Sputnik 2's mass was 508 kilo kilograms. And there she is. <laughs> there it is. Fortunately, she died in space because they didn't make it <laughs> so she could return. They just... They're kind of sad, but I guess necessary. Yuri Gagarin, the first cosmonaut. Mankind entered the space age on April 12, 1961, when a, an SS-6 rocket launched uh, Yostok-1 into orbit, apogee 307 kilometers, perigee 181 kilometers. Aboard was a young Russian lieutenant named Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space. The flight lasted 108 minutes. Yostok-1 was made up of two modules. First. There was the MAN module, which was a 2.3 meter sphere fueled by an oxygen-nitrogen mixture. Like a jet, it was equipped with an eject ejection seat. <laughs> the second module carried the equipment. The di dimensions were 2.558 meters by 3.10 meters. The whole thing weighed 4,725 kilograms. Laika from Russian means Barker. <laughs> Cute. There's the, the rocket. There's Yuri Gagarin. Is it Gagarin or Gagarine? Gagarin. No pictures. Some data. Hey, Sonic. <laughs> Yuri Gagarin. And there's the metal sphere they mentioned after it re returned to Earth. Gagarin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yuri Gagarin. The first woman in space, uh, Valentina. Oh, that's a V. Uh, so it's a Vostok rocket back then. Here, not your. Uh, yeah, the Vostok one. <laughs> rocket that launched him. Uh, Valentina Ter Terekova? Valentina, the first woman in space, was born on May 6, 1937. This tractor driver's daughter started out as a factory worker. After years of parachuting, she was selected to be a cosmonaut. On June 17, 1963, Valentina Ter Terekova orbited the Earth for 70 hours and 50 minutes aboard the Vostok 6 capture, capsule.
Tereszko, Tereszkowa. Tereszkowa. Thanks, Norma. <laughs> There she is. The first walk on the moon. At 9.32 a.m. on July 16, 1969, a Saturn V rocket blasted off from the Kennedy Space Center. It carried an Apollo 11 capsule and the LEM, or Lunar Exploration Module? Isn't it Lunar Excursion Module? Uh, its three-person crew, Michael Collins, Neil Armstrong, and Edwin Aldrin, were headed for the moon. Diameter of three... Information on the moon. Three... 3,000 kilometers, uh, 3,476 kilometers, orbit 356, 47, 407 kilometers, gravity one sixth that of the Earth. Uh, in the historic wor words of Neil Armstrong, the first person to set foot on the Earth's natural satellite, the crew's landing was a one small step for man and one giant step for mankind. Vostok actually means east in English. There's pictures of the Apollo astronauts on the moon. Columbia, the first space shuttle. On April 12, 1981, the Columbia Space Shuttle was launched from the Kennedy, Spence, Kennedy Center. Uh, two days later, pilot R. L. Crippen landed on the Columbia after orbiting 241 kilometers above the Earth at around 350 kilometers per hour. The two crew members, the pilot and his commander, J.W. Young, Young, were elated over the shuttle's performance. The shuttle successfully re-entered the Earth at atmosphere after a 54-hour and 22-minute flight. Of course, this game t t took place way before the, the, the disaster that claimed the, the Columbia, so we don't include that here. I think this, I think this is from 1991. Why a space shuttle? The space shuttle's main purpose is to place satellites in a low orbit. The launch costs are kept down by overhauling and reusing the same shuttle after it come back, comes back to Earth. Uh, at the same time, the shuttle's maneuverability makes it possible to approach and repair disabled satellites and send up technicians and equipment to build space stations. Very relevant to this game, that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> One crew can follow another on these permanent bases where they can conduct experiments, make observations, and even even manufacture the space here, items in a weightless environment. There they are. Life in space, satellites. And that's it, that's the last picture. So yeah, have a little little history lesson here included in the, this game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get going with our missions. So yeah, because this is the Euro European Space Simulator, we won't be using NASA shuttles. We have our own mod uh, type of uh, shuttle. But we do have uh, people from all over the world though, going up to, to this space station. I mean, this, this was way before the International Space Station, but <laughs> we are already, already uh, having people from different countries. Uh, so yeah, the next module we'll need is this one, X-23. Better to build a space station as soon as possible because you get a lot of money from... Uh, get uh, taking scientists up to the space station to do their experiments because yeah the objective of this game is to actually uh, get money by performing uh, all the different tasks of taking scientists into up into space launching satellites uh, and landing successfully if you don't land successfully it costs a lot <laughs> uh, and there's a, a time period when this uh, takes place so this actually it's the date there is uh, January first, two thousand ten, and goes all the way to two thousand December two thousand thirteen, I believe. Uh, so depending on how much money you earn, as it says in the bottom there, I have two hundred thousand uh, k kil 
ACUs. I don't remember what that stands for, but but uh, but yeah, that's how much you have. So you, the, the more you have, you, the better your rating. Okay, hi Patrick. Yeah, Happy New Year's Eve. Or Happy New Year to whoever's uh, ahead of, of us. Whoever's in the future. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, got, I gotta try and, and make enough money in, in this time period. After after 2013, the game just ends. It doesn't actually have a credits screen. Uh, I mean, you you can you finish the game, I guess. It just has a game over. So I guess the objective is to just try and ha get to the highest ranking possible. So yeah, let's decide what we're going to take on our first mission. Uh, yeah, select. I also can't. Show 3D model mo uh, models of the the pieces that will also crash the game, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, let's select this, and it shows the, the this shuttle can only take 7,000 kilograms, uh, so we have, have to be careful what I pick. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We have different satellites that we can take the. I don't remember this is this the percentage of of malfunction I think or yes some of them are are cheaper but uh, uh they give more money a month but are my more likely to to malfunction and you have to keep taking uh taking people up to repair it yeah let's start with this one but can do we have enough yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, I want to take anyone already. Military expert. Uh, biochemical experience, astrophysical experiments. Experiment. Experiment. Well, the funny, fun thing about this, uh, you can you can have multiple experiments up on the space station. But except for the military experiments, because they are apparently so top secret that they can't have any other scientists aboard. So if you, I want to take this guy, he gives a lot of money, but, but, uh, yeah, he gives the most money in return, but he has to be alone. So, uh, I don't think I can take him yet. Yeah. So, or maybe next time. Yeah. First, yeah, first. First experiment, uh, first uh, tr trip is to take these guys. Let's see. We have our repair technicians as well. We have to uh, every time uh, we have to select which which repair technician we will take depending on what kind of malfunction the the, the satellite got. If it's a mechanical malfunction, we take this guy. If it's computer malfunction, we take her. Communications malfunction, we take her. And we got three engineers. There is a something that I want to do now. Maybe later. Yeah. You see, we we have we. Uh, this is of course me, the the pilot of the ship, and we can take two passengers, but we also have three. We have three engineers. So, what happens if there are enough when there are a bunch of satellites in orbit, and they are all all them have different types of malfunctions? I can't bring all three uh, engineers. What I can do, however, is bring one and leave them in the space station, <laughs> pick them up when any any time we need. So yeah, I might I might just take all of these engineers up to the space station at some point, <laughs> just leave them there. So every any time I need a uh, repair a satellite, then stop by the space station, pick up uh, the engineer, and then go to the go to the satellite to repair it, then put him back. <laughs> So yeah, let's lift off. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Here we go. So here we have our screens. We can uh, select an orbit to go to. Uh, this button, this button is for going inside the the, the cockpit. 
This is for landing. This is for information on, on what's, what's in orbit, but right now there's nothing. Uh, okay. Here. I like this. Uh, forget what this does, actually. I think... Go here and then this. Oh yeah, this is for uh, finding out how much orbital energy will take to get to that place. So if I click here and then click here, yeah, it shows here the two blue dots. That means that this was this is the amount of all orbital energy that will take to reach that orbit. Uh, dang it, I forgot to I forgot to check which. Which orbit the satellite was for? Uh, uh, I should should have kept that in mind. Hang on, okay. I think I can go inside the cockpit. Check here. I can't can't right now. Uh, yeah. By the way, it's not my fault. I take no responsibility for this. It just so happens that the name of the shuttle is the Thought. T H O T. That's what the shuttle is called. Uh, <laughs> just so happened to be the name of the shuttle. I mean, I, way before it I had another meaning, but <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, we'll come back to this screen later. Uh, uh, I wanted to... Let's try Orbit 4. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. So, you'd think this was the button to actually get going to another orbit, but this button is not used. The manual just says unused for some reason. I'm not, what? This is the button that you, you press to actually go into the orbit that you selected. Not sure why. So once I click this, a uh, screen, uh, a screen will show the first burst of, of uh, rockets. Uh, the will sh uh, the computer will show how much it will need, and I have to match it. But uh, at the, on the first burst, the computer will also correct it if I if I go too much or, or too little. But on the second burst, it won't auto correct, so I have to be careful. Let's do this. If I okay, and I press and hold. And I have to let go at the right time? Okay. okay. Warning, second push. Uh, now, a little bit of a delay, you have to let go a little bit before the... Okay. Uh, if, you, if you let go too much, if you, you overshoot your, your, your target. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then you have to either go back using your orbit man or using approach energy. You have approach maneuvers, different type of fuel for, for the, 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 the thrusters and different type of fuel for the, for the, the smaller rockets, the maneuverability. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, we're too far away. Uh, can I already check this now? I can actually control my my position here and this is the these are the distances I mean, xyz distances from the from the where i the center of where i need to be so i can m m move up side up and down and front front and back and turn left and right with this and or go to a complete stop so if i press here see the numbers are changing i, I am moving I can actually move, while, uh, but it doesn't. I, I'm not making a curve. You see, once I make a, a, a burst of of uh, the rockets, it already it, it uses the momentum from in space. So I I start going in that direction, and even if I turn, I'm, I'm still going in that direction. Doesn't doesn't matter. I'd have to. Yeah, the the rocket thrusts thrusters. So there is moment, momentum, and I have to push backward to cancel the momentum and everything. Okay. Yeah, I stopped. I, I let go of this button. I'm not... 
no longer uh, using the thrusters, but I'm still moving. <laughs> uh, if I press tab, I can also see my orientation here, uh, XYZ coordinates. So, yeah, I'm very far away in this direction, so let me, let me go down 170, yeah, maybe not here. Yeah. Okay, now if I press forward, I'm uh, actually not sure if I'm going up or down the axis. I'm... Okay, uh, it should be backwards. Yeah, I'm going further down and go back. Takes a little bit of getting used to this, this, these numbers. Uh oh. Okay, now I gotta, gotta fix this orientation though. Yeah. Uh, so zero. I mean, I don't have to. I don't have to match these numbers exactly. Get them all to zero. I just have to be close enough. Or oh, this is the this red little red uh, marker here that shows how close I am to the target. Oh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually getting farther away. So let's go back. I mean, sometimes you can just get a feel for it if you see if this starts going back and then, but then goes back up. Okay. Now I overshot. <laughs> Getting closer. Uh, sometimes it's j I just pick a random direction and see what, how the numbers behave. <laughs> uh -oh. Back. Nope. So you have all the, uh, the, as they say, six degrees of movement. <laughs> oh. No, I'm, I'm getting farther away. Let's go the other way. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Should be close enough. Can I press this button now? Okay. Ah. Yeah, I knew it. This was should, should have been on orbit three. I'm in the wrong orbit. Oh well. For unfortunately, that button only only shows up when you're when you're at the right spot. So you, yeah, I was I was a little bit here, but now I'm at the little the little marker point. I mean, these are not actually stars; they are just orbit markers. These are where you can place uh, satellites. Let's see. I can either yeah, I can go to this orbit three here, and then later go to the space station. Like here. Go here. Okay. I can push. Okay. Okay, it didn't overshoot too much. So yeah, you have a debris. There are debris? Yeah, sometimes you, you there are space debris in the in the orbit that you need to want to put your satellite in, you have to destroy it before before you can do anything. And fortunately, they show up on the radar here. It's a little square when it's behind you and a T when it's in front of you. There it is. Stop, stop, stop. Get a little closer. Still far away. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. I mean, it takes a, a bit of energy to come to a complete stop, but it's worth it for the precision. So now I, I have this piece of debris. What I can do is I turn on the laser. <laughs> yeah, I'm equipped with a laser for destroying the space debris. There you go. Fire. <laughs> okay, now that the orbit is free. Take that off. Now I can launch the satellite. Uh, wait, oh, I'm not close enough. Launch the satellite? Oh. Maybe I'm not close enough. I am. Um, wait, wait, free. Yeah, maybe I need to be closer here. 
Hop. Hop. And I'm getting farther away. Close enough. Why is it not, why is it not working? Uh, okay. Move. Wait, not here. No. This orientation is zero. No. And then, no, not this one. Wait, it is this one. Hang on. Uh, uh. There you go. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, nope. Want a 90 degree turn there? Okay. There you go. Let's see if this works. I'm still on. Still not moving in that direction. Okay, now I am. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Over here. Nope. Other way, wrong way. <laughs> Getting closer. Nope. Okay, let's change. Move 90 degrees of that way. Oh yeah, you gotta find visualize where you are in, in 3D space. <laughs> A little bit tricky. Wrong, wrong way. Run to fix. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier to just focus on one number and then, and then you you. Going on. Red alert. Just a weird, weird track of the music. Not sure why it plays that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that was that was weird. Uh, Ninety degrees there. Okay. Okay. Things are looking good. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. Stop. 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 And now, stop, stop, stop. Uh, yeah, it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe in, I'm on this orientation. I'm not close enough. Maybe I have to be on on all three again. <laughs> hey, thanks for the cheers. <laughs> Hundred bits, nice. Thanks, Norman. Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing. Uh, or thanks, in, thanks for gifting two gift subs, Norman. Nice. Wait, five others? No, hang on. Uh, scroll. Oh no, yeah, you gift, gifted one, one tier sub, okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, where am I? Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm at some some sort of angle there that I'm going on all three directions. No, I don't want. Yeah, let's let's get lined up here so I don't. <laughs> yes, yeah, we a weird music track that plays sometimes. Not aliens. Okay. Line up here. Okay, zip. Okay, let's see what this. Just this. Okay. Again with the. F Calm down. Okay. So if I if I move ninety degrees this way, and then ninety degrees this way, should be able to move. Change the other numbers. Oh no. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. If I move 90 degrees this way... Uh, I don't want to move that way. No, okay. Yeah, it's this way. Still moving in that direction. Why? And seventy. Ah. <laughs> okay. Come on, I mean, should be close enough, right? Okay. It is close enough. <laughs> so now I select this and satellite in correct orbit. Satellite was ejected. If I move around here, where where is it? Ah, there. What? Warning malfunction. What? What happened here? Was there a collision or something? One of my thrusters is malfunctioning. I can't I can't move up. Oh dear. I just wanted to see the satellites. Uh, I mean... Where is it? I can change the radar here? Okay. Yeah, make the radar more precise. Ah, there it is. <laughs> uh, I can't go up anymore, I can, but I can go down all the way back. I mean, yeah, you can you can still maneuver with one missing thruster, right? Yeah. It's, 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 it's just instead of doing this, you do uh, and then go back. But yeah, that's our first satellite. We've been deployed. So now we go to space station. To put another module in, on it. And it's actually a lot easier to maneuver uh, this way because you have the visual reference. Again with this music. Oh. Weird. Okay, there it is. Mm. Come on, there's a much more chill track to listen to it. Go slowly. Okay, okay. Yeah, this this track is much better. Okay, I have to get close close to this red triangle. I think twenty five uh, distance. Go slowly. I am going slowly. Don't worry. Okay, close enough. And now I can press this button to packing execute. Then I select this module to go here. So I have four more or four more uh, slots where I can place a technician or scientist or or the modules to be added. Once once I have more modules, this this area should get unlocked, which means I can get have more 
Uh, okay, stop that. I have more experiments going on at the same time. But yeah, mission complete. Now we land. Landing? Yes. We have to land on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> ah! Okay. Landing gears down. Careful with the orientation with the altitude. And brakes. I did it. <laughs> Rank mosquito. <laughs> That's the lowest rank so far. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you start. Uh, let's save. Oh. Uh, ESS1. But yeah, right now we have uh, one satellite in orbit. Green one. Click, uh, click information. Gives us 4,000 a month. Right here, here, information. Yeah, you have two units on the sp of the space station, but no, no one there yet. See the progress right now. So the next module should be this. Another storm module. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one storm module here, one here, and then two home modules here. Should be, should be done. Should be fine. Station is 22% complete. Uh, yeah. This, one of these. Uh, we can actually al already, let's see. Yeah, can I flex you? Okay. I'll, I'll leave the, since the the military military experiment does can't have other people on, on the space station at the same time, I'll, I'll take him first. Get some money ahead of time, and then I'll, I'll take everyone else. Okay, I don't think I have enough for another satellite, unless it's a very light one. Oh, this one. Argentina, 749 kilograms. Orbit 1. 10%. Oh, uh, okay. And also, yeah. Not after. So there's a, there's a limit. All of these... Can only be put up uh, uh, by April 2010. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I need more fuel here. Um, approach energy is almost gone. Uh, yeah. Orbit energy, of course, it's what uh, what gets used when I move from or one orbit to the other. Approach energy, it was mo what when I'm inside the cockpit and I'm moving it around. And yeah, life support, pretty important. Of course, the more more people are inside the the ship, the the faster it goes down. So, okay, seems okay. So now it's uh, the first of February, two thousand ten. So I can we can do one one mission a month. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, one. Let me actually speed up a little, the cycles. Uh, so the animation is a little faster. DOS. I'm using DOSBox to emulate. So. This time I paid attention, it was the satellite was for orbit one. Let's pick here. Okay. Okay. I think it was right on right on the money, yeah. You want to you want to get this right because the if you get it right you should be right where you want to be. So you don't have to waste approach energy by maneuvering. You can just just select the satellite and there you go. Ejected. 
And yeah, that button with the with the the astronaut is for when uh, I take a technician to to a, a satellite, and I I have to have a them go outside to repair it. Okay. Uh, yeah, not. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, I haven't. <laughs> I was expecting to be at the at the. At the space station, for for some reason I forgot to actually go it there. I'm like, wait, what's the satellite doing here? <laughs> you can see the top top bar is the the how much orbital energy I still have. So every time I move from or one orbit to another, it goes down. Ooh, a little little less. Might need some more approach energy to get. Okay, not too far away. But yeah, like I said, this these missions with a, where you get to go to a, a place instead of an empty orbit are much easier to maneuver since you have this the visual reference instead of having to picture where the target is in 3D space based on those the coordinates. You can just look. Closer. Yeah, if I had if I had uh, gotten that approach energy correctly, I wouldn't have to wouldn't have to spend so much uh, approach energy to get closer to the station. Ah, wait. Uh, because the longer the longer I keep the button pressed, the the faster I go since I'm using more thrusters. Yeah, you see, I can turn, but I'm still going that way. Okay, stop, stop. Go slowly, okay. Get a little, little bit down first. Okay. Wait, wait, no, stop. And back in execute. Okay, so now I select this module and select this scientist. I mean, he, he, it's not that he's on 1,721 kilograms. It's because he's his equipment is is this, is this heavy. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, once once his experiment is done, I I, I can I'll have to actually bring him back to Earth, and then I get paid. <laughs> And once that happens, I can bring more other scientists, uh, other scientists to the space station. Okay, land again. Yes. And now it's stop gun again. <laughs> Pretty epic music. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard to get gun. But sometimes I forget to put the landing gear down. There. Sometimes I, I come, I'm at a wrong angle when I approach it, and yeah, if you crash, it costs a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, we land on an aircraft carrier <laughs> every time. Like I said, this is not NASA missions. These, are, this is the International Space Corporation. That's why that that uh, shuttle does not look like a NASA shuttle. So, yeah, now we have, uh, I mean, we started with 200,000, now we have 220,700 and I mean, it does cost money to to get stuff up there in, in the first place, so. Actually says here how much is it, it costs, this, how much the mission will cost, so hopefully we get more in return than we spend. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. First up, let's let me check. Are there any satellites malfunctioning? Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna need the B fifty six module. Two of them actually. Uh, any satellites malfunctioning? Uh, that will. Okay, if they're all if they're both green, they're fine. 
If they're orange, they're starting to malfunction. If they're red, they're out of order and I have to actually bring them back to Earth. And if they're white, they're just completely non-functional and I have to destroy them. <laughs> okay, so... I can't take any more uh, scientists or anyone else there for that matter. The, like I said, the military experiments are top secret. They, but I can take up more satellites and more orbital pieces. So, like one more of this, one more of this, and let's see, one more satellite. Uh, 6,000, Yeah, see, this one gives more money but has a higher chance of breaking. Military observation, space observation, experimental. Orbit four, orbit three, orbit one. What do you think? Which which satellites should we should we take up? I mean, yeah, maybe maybe we'll keep we're still the beginning of the game. Maybe we'll play it safe and give take this one with the lower chance of of, of breaking. Uh, orbit one, okay. I mean, if I clicked on 3D model, the game would crash, but all it would show is the, the 3D model that we'll see on the, on the space area anyway. Uh, yeah, we can't take any more, more satellites. Not yet. Let's get more orbit energy. Orbit energy. I mean, might as well spend uh, the, the money on, on uh, energy now. Might need it later. Orbit one, right? Yeah. Okay. Hang on, let me just check. Double check. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, this is essentially the, the gameplay, uh, the cycle, the gameplay loop of this game. You. Go on missions, go to orbit to uh, deliver a satellite, go to the space station to deliver modules or, or experiments, land, select which what you need to do next, and go back up, do the same thing, land. And time is passing, now it's March 1st, 2010. So. So like I said, the, 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 we can only do one, one month mission a month, and we can only go up to December 2013, so there's a limited number of missions we can go to. Go here. No, this. This one. No. There you go. Whoa, why it cost so much to get there? Maybe I'm going all the way around. <laughs> okay, overshot a little, but might still be able to do it. Am I? Can I do it? Nope. Yeah, I'm way f too far away. Uh, hang on. If I go back. I'll go forward. Yeah, my orientation should be right, should be already correct. I don't have to move, I just have to go forward or I don't have to change my orientation. I have to go forward or backwards, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Should be fine. No? Uh, maybe top one. I'm guessing we have to be less than, less than 50 on each one. Seventy or ninety. I mean, ninety to one one side, two hundred seventy to the other side. Same, same thing. You just have to switch between going forward or backward. If I go forward here, oops, wrong, wrong way. Okay, okay. What? Well, I mean, I don't have to go zero exactly, but. Better to be close. Okay, now if I go up 90 degrees, should change the top one. 
No, still chain. Yeah. Weird. enough why why is it not why is this not working where am i yeah why am what what am i doing here i should be here Gibbs. what if i go out i i, I re get reset weird okay <laughs> Okay, come on. I have to be close enough now. Am I not? Wait a minute. Maybe I have to. I'm not uh, completely. No, I'm stopped. I do. I do have a satellite, right? I didn't cancel it. For docking with the space station, I don't know. This is for ejecting a satellite, and it should the satellite screen should pop up. Hmm. Yeah, look at where I'm. Look at where I am. Weird. Okay, let me. Maybe I'll, I'll pick another another spot here. Maybe I'll have more luck with another area. Ah. Okay. Should be pretty close. Okay. Now we go. Now it works. Ah. Okay, not sure what happened there, but... Satellite in correct orbit. There it is. Now we go to the space station to deliver more modules. Okay. Second push. Oh. Okay. Yeah, do going to different orbits unnecessarily would it costs money because it costs it's costing you the orbital energy and that costs money too so best best to try and get things done on the way get them the right the first time okay where's no. uh, it's down if i if i move this down i get more uh, closer a zoom in on the or the radar here there it is uh, uh, Okay, see how it, now it's growing, <laughs> a little, uh, a little space station. Now it has two two modules and one cross, uh, uh, one cross uh, part in the middle. So slowly, yeah. Okay. Where's the where's the triangle? On this side or not? Uh, uh, it's on the other side. Okay. Uh, uh. There it is. That's the, the, the docking port. I don't remember what the triangle does. Okay. I just gotta get closer than 25. A little bit, a little bit, uh, go slowly, slowly, okay, dock, and dock. 
Okay, put more modules. More module. There you go. Delivery done. We'll go back to Earth. Different, you little different icons for the satellites depending on their module, on their, on their models. I keep, I keep messing up module and model. <laughs> yes. We have very, very rudimentary polygons in this game. I mean, not, a, not a lot of detail, but still enough to convey. Oh no! Okay, okay. Ah! Forgot the landing gears. Dang it. Oh no, we're down. Oh dear. Ooh. Crashed. <laughs> Crashed the shuttle. That's not good. And I got buy all the all the energy back again. Oh dear. I mean I might as well. Uh, put the landing gears down right away, but it makes everything shake a little bit because of turbulence, but uh, I can handle it better than to forget last time That's me. <laughs> You've done that in, in Microsoft Flight Simulator forget the landing gears. Yeah uh, Okay, next module is gonna be this And we can bring another satellite to orbit actually hang on Check check the the status of all the satellites. Any are there any malfunctioning? No. Okay. All green. And the military experiment still not done. And we we will t get a message to uh, get to the space station urgently be when their when their experiment is done and ready. They're ready to come back home. So for now, let's see. Uh, got two more, two more satellites that need to be up there before Mar April. I don't think we'll be able to do it because yeah, there's one more. Uh, there's I think only one more month before April, so yeah, I'll select this one. Uh, yeah, we have another. This one you have more time since it's only until August. So, but yeah, sorry. Uh, France, you, your satellite won't won't be up there in time. Okay. Uh, yeah, that crash costs some money, but still not not too bad. We can still s salvage the, this playthrough. <laughs> I don't crash too much. I think that yeah, that's twelve twelve thousand. That's how much we we get per month from each satellite, so the more satellites we have in orbit, so the more money we'll be getting every month. So. Well, yeah, and the, the military experiment will bring, bring a bunch, we'll be like 50,000. Well, that, that will be a big reward, that's why I wanted him first. Wait, what, what orbit was that satellite again? Uh, I forget. Forgot to check. <laughs> I mean, hang on, I think I can. Here we see the lists of... See, uh, the lists of uh, satellites in each orbit. The Aleph and the Flamenco on orbit 1 and Medusa on orbit 3. Hang on, if I do this... I might be able to get information on my shuttle. There we go, here we go. Orbit 3 for China. Yeah. This with 2, this is Orbit 3. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. I'm slowing down. Okay. Should be close enough. Right. 
right on target. Warning, debris is to be destroyed. Debris, not debris. Debris. <laughs> uh, yeah, that S begs me begs to be pronounced. The S at, at the end of debris. Okay, get a little closer. Should be enough. Uh, this uh, record, you can you can kind of record your maneuvers and then watch it in tape, but it's not really useful for anything. On and fire. Whoops. Fire. And done. Just disappears. The little polygon that was floating. Launch it? No. Still not far enough. Not, not close enough, I mean. And launch. Very ominous music every time you launch a satellite for some reason. <laughs> okay. Then you go to the space station to deliver another module. Might as well get get the the building part of the space station uh, uh, out of the way sooner. Can focus on on experiments and and technicians and everything. Everyone living aboard the space station. Get behind us. So that, there it is. That's fine. Still 900, 700, 500, 300. Ah, stop! 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 stop. A little bit up and down. I need to get a little closer. No, okay, close enough. Okay, one more module. Yeah, I think this was. We're already getting getting one one extra uh, square. I don't think this was active yet. It was just these ones. Okay. Back to Earth. Nice to see all the satellites still working. Because yeah, once you have a bunch of satellites, it just increases the likelihood of one of them breaking. Okay, let's get the landing gears down right away. I mean, there's still a chance that I might not go down fast enough, overshoot the runway, or not be at the right angle. Ah, okay. <sighs> still rank mosquito? Come on. I mean... Maybe once I get the, the the money from the military experiment back, I'll, I'll I'll get promoted. But right now, yeah. Okay, let's check the check on the satellites. Still green, okay. Now it's May. Like I said, the the satellites. Yeah, the French satellites is not an option anymore. But now we have two: one from Luxembourg and another from Belgium. Hmm. This one only gives four a month and it has five percent uh, chance of breaking, but weighs a lot. This one has a high chance of and weighs a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's still still May, so we have time to d deliver both. Let's start start with with this one. Although I no, actually I want to I want to get another module up on the station. And where, where, what is my station looking like now? Whoops. Wrong button. Oh, they, they 
park the module here, okay. So maybe these two are meant to be home modules. Okay, yeah, now now need two home modules. I don't think I can bring both, can I? Yeah, they're too heavy. Or they're 4,000 kilograms each. I can only carry 7,000 kilo kilograms. Okay, I might be able to take this one. Yeah, okay. Okay. We've got one more, mis one more mission before our, our space station is complete. No, actually. Hang on. Actually, one more module. Uh, yeah, there's one over here that I forgot about. This one, module A21. So I take that one up too. Will I have enough? Oh. 600 kilograms? Yeah, I don't have enough. See? Can remove a little bit less life support. A little bit less approach and a little bit less orbital energy. Uh, no wait, I don't want to get stranded up there. Okay, life support can. Uh, a little bit less approach. Uh, this is dangerous, but six hundred. There you go. Okay, now how much can I put back? Yeah, see, yeah, the fuel for for all the orbital maneuvers that also weighs money. They cost money and also uh, cost weight. So, gotta really be careful with what you what you how much money you you bring. Okay, yeah, since I'm the only one, I don't think I don't think I need as much life support since I'm the only passenger. Satellites are still fine, right? Yeah, okay. May 1st. Save. Okay. Uh, what was the orbit for the satellite again? I keep having to check. Orbit 4, okay. Yeah, maybe eventually I have to keep in mind which which satellite which orbits are completely full, so I don't take a, a satellite for that orbit. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, eventually you want all all our orbit uh, spaces filled. And then, I, and then once once they're all filled, it's just a matter of maintaining them, and fixing any anyone any any satellites that gets broken, malfunctions. Oh. Okay. Okay. We'll have enough orbital energy. Okay. Ah. Not in target. Yes. Yeah. Two thousand away. That's too much. Closer. Uh... Closer. Stop! 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 stop. Okay. Boom. Okay, and now we go to the space station. Hopefully we have enough. Wait, do we have enough? I think so, yeah. I can orbit, I did. <laughs> Took too long. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense, it was just the same orbit, just a little ahead, so wouldn't cost as much. 
I guess if it was a if I wanted to go back, I would have to spend a lot because I'd have to all go all the way around. Where's uh, where's... Oh, we're right next to it. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, overshot. Okay. Okay. Should be enough. I can execute. Okay. Two more modules. We got a home module and I have a little connector there. One, one module away from station being complete. Back to Earth. Landing gears. Oh, turbulence. Everything's shaking. <laughs> Even the risk of, of what happens if you deploy your landing gears too early. <laughs> it doesn't really have that much of any in fact effect, but Makes you want to play Flight Sim and Surviving Mars? Hey, I, I got a promotion. I'm now a Sparrow. Rank Sparrow. <laughs> no, not a Mosquito anymore. Nice. <laughs> okay, one... One module left. Now June 6th. This should be a home module, right? Uh, let's check on the on the satellites in case we do we need to bring any technicians up. Okay, uh, yeah, all, since uh, yeah, I started out with a lot of satellites with a low chance of breaking, so it makes sense that they're all still functioning. Uh, but what else? Can we take another satellite? Uh, no, both both options are too heavy. And they're both a couple months away, so not not a big deal. I guess we can just go up and with this just with this one uh, module, go straight to the space station, and go back, and save. Since I just got promoted, might as well save. Yeah, like I said, this is pretty chill game. Not not very very challenging. I mean, if you, if you know what to, what you're doing, the, the landing can be a little stressful, but uh, it, uh, you get once you get the hang of it, it's also not not that big of a deal. Okay, let's go to the space station. Oh, I forgot to buy more orbital energy. I'm running low. Thankfully, I had just enough. Look at that. <laughs> one, one square left. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. And hopefully, I have enough, enough approach energy, too. Uh, turn around. Where are you? Should be close by. The radar. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Can I dock here? Can I dock in any of the red triangles, I wonder? Uh, close enough. And done. Final module. And like I said, let's see the more more squares got unlocked. Maybe 
Yeah, I wonder why why these didn't get unlocked yet. Maybe I needed more home modules or more. I mean, they have storage modules. But not sure exactly how how much the those uh, count. Okay, now we land. Landing gears down so I don't forget. Yeah, you have to go a little bit to the side and then you turn so you're facing the right direction and then you go down and then you brake. There you are. <laughs> Whoa, Skylark, I'm already another rank. What's a Skylark? The type of bird? Save right away. So yeah, station 100%. We completed completed the the station according to the blueprint. So now, now we can just focus on delivering satellites. Uh, right now, yeah, we don't we don't we can't deliver any more experiments until that one is done and oh, let's buy some more orbital energy before i forget approach energy so, yeah having it halfway is comfortable enough you don't have to have it completely full otherwise it will weigh too much but yeah having having everything around halfway is more than enough for a mission uh, let's check on the satellites. Uh, anyone, any one of them breaking? No. Okay. If there, if there, one is about to break, and I take too long to fix it, it will break completely, and and then it will go from orange to red to white, it'll go from malfunctioning to out of order to uh, completely non-functional. <laughs> so it's best to repair right away. Uh, but yeah, don't have to worry about this anymore. Now we can just bring satellites into orbit uh, okay yeah the, we've got three options here they're all too heavy to we can only bring one at a time so uh, mouse at mm, CC, Belgium which one is the yeah this is the, the one that has to be up earlier so let's pick this one Now it's July 2010. I forgot the orbit again. <laughs> ah, I can I, at least I know how to check now. I remembered. <laughs> click on the shuttle. Click on information. It's orbit three. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go through here. Okay. So this first push, push this first first push is kind of like to train you for how long you you need to. This one is the one that matters. That you can't. Overshoot or undershoot, and I just overshot. Oh well. Okay, not not too bad. I can use some approach energy to correct. Oh, debris is to be destroyed. Debris to be destroyed. Oh, there it is. A little. I actually want one of the satellites to break so I can show off the this. This uh, mode of the game, or where you control the astronaut in the little the little uh, chair. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, once we have a bunch of satellites in orbit, the likelihood of one of them, or ever, even multiple multiple satellites breaking, is very high. Okay, and now we launch satellite or not the laser 
Yeah, some weird musical tracks in this game. <laughs> there's a there's a non CD ROM version that's like very very small, only like three megabytes, but yeah, it doesn't have all these music. I think that actually, I think this game originally came on on the the larger floppy disks. <laughs> And then yes. Yeah, I can I can actually control this with the mouse movement, but it, I like it better. I like to control it better with the arrow keys. Ah, everything's shaking. Be a little more precise. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Hard one. Ah, ah. Oof. Almost overshot. <laughs> Runway. <laughs> Yeah, if you overshoot the runner, you go straight into the water, not good. Okay, build Skylark. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, first. First check the satellites. Because since, since it takes a month between one mission and another, it's better to check the satellites before you go up in orbit. To, because if you if you go into orbit and you see that screen and then you see a, a satellite malfunctioning by the time you have you can go into orbit again it's already a month past and the, the satellite will completely break so it's better to look at it beforehand okay get another satellite up okay this this one's the earliest for china earth observation orbit two Okay, I'll get a little bit more orbit energy just in case. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. August 10, 2000. August 2010. So how many months, how many missions do I have left? Uh, well, there was 12 for 2012, 12 for 2011. 12 for 2013, so 36 and 4 more for this year, or 3 more besides this one. So 39 missions until the game is over. So hopefully I can reach the highest ranking before then. I said you have to let go a little bit before the the marker reaches the top uh, the your fuel amount and reaches the top mark your thruster amount reaches the top mark if you let go exactly when they meet you you overshoot like i just did uh, apparently okay okay wait wait no forward again Be right, fine, right? Yeah. And foul. Okay. Yeah, getting uh, lower orbit, getting real populated right now. And this military guy is still not done. You better pay pay up a bunch after. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember if it told me how long the experiment would take. Ah, I have to pay attention next time. Mm. Start going down. We don't overshoot. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, the lower number there is altitude, so we've got to pay attention to that. Uh, it says 23 now. That's... That's how high we were. Hey, we got another promotion. Now we are rank hawk. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me check something here. Uh, experiments. For you. Yeah, it doesn't say how long each one, uh, each experiment will take. I mean, 40 years is their age, not, not how long the experiment takes. 
You got another another military one? Another got one. Two. Hey, we got one going from from Brazil. <laughs> Saudade. MB Vive Singapore and ISOP T E E. Uh, this one has to be up by June. It's ten thousand a month. Okay. Orbit three, orbit two, orbit three. Hmm. We might be able to take both of these at the same time. Actually, I mean the the ISOP one is too heavy, but might be able to take this one, the Brazil one, and the Singapore one. Uh, we sacrifice a little bit of energy, maybe. Nope, still too much. Okay, a little bit less orbital energy, maybe. A uh, little bit less life support. I mean, I'm just, yeah, just one person. Don't know. Mm. Yeah, I gotta do the math here. Like three hundred three plus. 3,893 uh, I need 107 3,107 left yeah yeah now I'll be, I'll be able to but a little low yeah more approach energy how much okay yeah that's okay Orbit energy weighs way more apparently than approach energy. <laughs> okay, let's risk it. <laughs> and by let's risk it, I mean let's save before we do anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I check the satellites. You know, they're all done. They're all good. Okay. <laughs> save before doing anything. If I get stuck in space, we can reload. Uh, wait, I can check later. Check the orbits later. Yeah, better to bring up as, ma as many satellites as possible. I mean, look, we're getting, now we're getting 34,000 a month per satellite. You have 365. I wonder, can we reach a million in, in numbers there? <laughs> okay. Before the time is up. Okay, orbit three, orbit two. Okay. I'll go yeah this way and then this way. Right? Should be good. I thought it would tell me how much. Okay. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot of orbital energy when you when you go that way. Ooh, overshot a little bit. Ah, even not too much actually. Seem to be nope, n still not on target. Go back. Yeah, now now I figured out that the this bottom coordinate. Uh, if I if I just go straight back without moving, I'll only move this coordinate so it's a little easier to get in the right place orbit two i'll let them correct orbit okay so i did i did the right thing in sacrificing some orbital energy to get the get these satellites up yeah they don't cost too much. Uh. The bridge will be destroyed, okay. Let me just get, get to the right location first. 
Okay. I'll be careful so I don't collide with the debris. A, coll a collision with anything in space, as you might imagine, is very dangerous. If I collide with something, one of my thrusters can get, get, get damaged and then I won't be able to move. <laughs> Fire! Just take this off, ID off. I mean, of course, the the this is the name of my shuttle, so all the coordinates are zero zero zero. That I mean, that's where I am. So this is the origin. <laughs> uh, I gotta get closer. I do like this track. Uh, very soothing. Okay, Brazil gets a satellite. In the correct order. There it is. Mm -hmm. Now we land. Maybe I should keep in mind exactly how how many key presses in each direction I, I have to press. Because every time I'm just going, I'm just going visually. <laughs> uh, yeah, it works out if you're once you get the hang of it. You can just pinpoint. Hey, I another rank up. Got I'm eagle rank now. And now four hundred. Thousand, one hundred twelve thousand monies. <laughs> we'll get even more when that military experiment is done. Let's see, still shooting for one million. Now October two thousand ten. Okay, what satellites we have? Oh, uh, they're all heavy, so can't can't have, uh, can't take two at a at a time. Can't take both at the same time. One for Thailand. This one. Yeah, I'll take this one first. It's the earliest. Actually, it should be this one because next month is is November, so I have to take it now if I want to take it at all. Okay, only one left. Okay, might as well get all my. Energy back up. Okay. So the mission will cost 16,000, but in the long run, hopefully, we'll, we'll gain way more. Like, yeah, already we're getting 38,000 per month from all the satellites. Uh, let me check. Uh, oh, there's one malfunctioning. Communication malfunction. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? It's always better to check before you go. So now we get to take an engineer. Uh, communications expert. Their rep reparation kit takes seven, 700 kilograms. We have enough. There we go. So we can deliver this satellite to orbit three and then go to the other satellite to fix it. Piece of cake. Save here. I mean, I am, I am playing on the second hardest, second uh, uh, last hardest difficulty, so gotta be careful. I don't make, mess anything up. I'm saving a lot. Something here. Okay. Uh, orbit three, right? <laughs> Double check. Yeah. Uh, but this one is in orbit one. Yeah, might as well fix this satellite first, and then we go to orbit three. Let's go. Okay. Uh, where's the satellite? Wait, wait, wait. 
There it is. Oh, it's a spinning satellite. <laughs> yeah, uh, you'll see why <laughs> why that's a problem. Well, let me get a little far farther away because yeah, on my first uh, practice playthrough of this game, I found out that if you're too close, sometimes well, when this uh, the astronaut gets ejected, I might collide with the, the satellite. I don't want that to happen. Well, yeah, we we'll get to outside. Oops. Kind of the same type of uh, maneuvers as the shuttle. You can go forward, back. You gotta line up with that uh, green tr T over there. Slowly. But also, a little closer, I think 25 is enough. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I gotta match my rotation. <laughs> Okay, a little more, a little more, a little less. Should be, should be fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> Repair, execute. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta gotta spin in sync, synchronize with the with the satellite in order to to repair it. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop spinning. There you go. Now I go back to the shuttle. Without bumping into anything, because, yeah, if I collide here, uh, I might damage the thrusters and I won't be able to move. Okay. And look, there's outside view of my shuttle. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You know? And bloop. Okay, satellite has been repaired, now it's green again, and now we go to orbit 3. The 3, right? Yeah. Oh. yeah, we can check the status of all the... Everyone's okay now? Uh. Orbit 3, yeah. 1, 2, 3. There. Ah, let go at the right time. Okay. So if I'm if I'm at the right place, I should be able to just yep. Don't even need to maneuver. Another satellite in orbit. Uh, I don't think any yeah any no orbits are full yet. Uh, the Orbit 3 only has one spot left, though, so I've got to keep that in mind. <laughs> Landing gear. Can't go down too, too fast, too early, or, or I'll crash into the side of the air, aircraft. But can't go down too late, or I'll overshoot it. Yeah. Oof. yeah, it was a, a little bit of an angle, but close enough. <laughs> this l this landing is actually very forgiving. <laughs> okay, rank eagle. Oof. Save. That was a nice mission. Uh, but yeah, like I like I mentioned before, it, uh, actually a good idea. It would eventually it would be a good idea to actually take one of the technicians to the space station and leave him there, because one, sometimes I mean, what hap what would happen if uh, I get three malfunctioning satellites and each one has a different problem? Mechanical computer communications. I can only take two engineers at a time. Well, they have to pick which satellite gets uh, broken. Uh, but if I have one, leave one engineer in the space station, 
or actually leave all of them in the space station. I can just go go to the space station, pick them up, and then repair the satellite, and then take them back. I mean, it would take cost more orbital energy, but uh, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to be limited by uh, which uh, which uh, by the am amount of passenger seats in the in the shuttle. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're all they're all right. They're all green. I can focus on getting more. Yeah, you don't don't need you anymore. That's all. Focus on getting more satellites up. Uh, oh, just one now. Okay. No choice. <laughs> well, I think yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I guess with with bringing satellites up and keeping up with the demand. Now, November 2010? Well, yeah, 2010. I forgot to check the orbit again, but I can do that later. Almost half a million. Should be should get we should get a million next next time. We are doing pretty well. Uh, orbit two. Uh, can go here or here. I don't know. Go here. Breach to be destroyed, oh dear. Ah, there it is. Can't have debris floating around the satellite, it might collide with it and, and cause damage. Oh. Almost collided myself. <laughs> and select. Collide incorrect satellite in correct orbit. And land again. Yeah. Pretty quick one. Actually, now I wonder what's going to happen if I can't... If I don't have a... If I can't send any satellites up and I can't send any experiments up, what's... They're going to do. Yeah, there's got to be got to be a satellite. A bit, a need, a need. Nope. Uh, I guess I did a too good a job. I, I what? I don't have anything to do now. <laughs> Wait, how, how how are the satellites? Any of them breaking? No. Oh, two are breaking. Two are breaking. Okay, we have something to do. <laughs> Uh, let's see, this one is mechanical malfunction, and this one is also mechanical malfunction. Okay, we only need one technician. Yeah, I was kind of worried there. Are, are, they, are they going to have nothing for us to do? Next mission? I just gotta go up and go down without doing anything? <laughs> just, just so a month passes? <laughs> let's get some more orbital energy. Okay. No one needs no one needs a satellite up. But I still gotta maintain the ones that are already up there if I want to keep getting fifty five thousand a month. Yeah, it's now January two thousand eleven. Okay. We only we got uh, two more years. Wait, January yeah, January two thousand twelve. Well, three more years, I guess. Because it goes, the the game goes all the way to December two thousand thirteen. Well, 
but we're doing doing pretty well. I mean, I'm, I am already climbing pretty high on the the ranks. <laughs> I should reach, I should be able to, I mean, if I can reach the top rank uh, and stay there, I should be able to easily beat the game, or at least finish the game with the highest ranking possible. Go here. Right on target. Okay. There's a satellite. Once again, I won't. I don't. I don't want to be too close to it, so I don't bump into it as I'm going out. There it is. Okay. A little bit away from it. There you go. Single sprite sliding. <laughs> this breathing sound does does give a little bit of anxiety. It makes you think. It makes you re realize exactly where you are. You're like, oh, okay. Anything goes wrong here, I can go get out of breath. Oh dear. I guess it helps with the immersion. Thank you. Getting, oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. A little too close. Go this way. Okay, okay. Uh, let's line up first before we approach. Almost makes you want to breathe at the same at the same time. Okay. Okay. A little close and now there you go. Gotta be under twenty-five and repair. There you go. Now go back to the shuttle. It might be close enough. Might... Yep. <laughs> Press the button and zoop, and just zooms right to the to the shuttle. Okay. Next on the list, prepare this one. Thankfully, it doesn't cost too much to get to it. Uh, okay, where you go? Ah, far away. Yeah, wait a minute. Let me line up again. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go backwards. Forwards. Yeah, I think I'm too far away for it to show up on the radar. Yeah, where? Where is the satellite? Disappeared. Huh. It's a satellite. Oh, there it is. Easy to lose things in space, not pointing in the right direction. <laughs> and because of the distances too, you you just have to go a little bit far away from something for it to go to get so small you can't see it. Okay. Okay. Close enough. You go back out there. 
At least this is not another spinning satellite. I don't have to worry about synchronizing the spin. Okay, a little closer, a little closer. I am going slowly, don't worry. And repair. There you go. Yeah, that's what, what we like to see. All satellites in working order. And, uh, yes. I can actually start breaking before I hit the ground, but for some reason, if I hit the ground and I'm already breaking, it stops right away and considers. Whoa, I'm already rank angel. Huh? Warning, urgence to join the station. That means the, the guy in the military experiment is done. You can bring him back to Earth and get paid. Nice. Uh, but I can also take another. So another uh, another scientist there with more experiments to replace him. Okay, and check satellites. Oh, we got one satellite that needs to go up. Uh, any anyone any satellites needing repair? Nope. Okay. And better. Okay, we can let's see. We can bring what bring this satellite and. Couple scientists. Get this engineer out. Actually, might leave him. Let, let me, hang on. Let me check the scientists here. How many? How many? Uh, uh, this one. Biochemical experiments give twenty-five thousand, and this one gives thirty thousand, but it's too heavy. So ten thousand is lighter. Okay, this one. No, this is another military experiment. I don't want. To, I don't want another one. Yeah. Mm, very light, but not too much. Oh, yeah, this is the best. Uh, return in, in money and weight. Thank you. Uh, actually, I might be able to take this one too. Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough room in on the on the shuttle. <laughs> Can only take two passengers. Uh. Actually, yeah, here's what I'm gonna since, since the military guy's done, next time I, I take an, an engineer up, I'll leave him there. <laughs> For now you can you can stay home. Better to take two scientists. Wait a second. Actually this might be a problem. I won't yeah, hang on. I won't be able to bring him into the shuttle if both seats are occupied and I won't be able to put anyone with him so I need to have one open seat to take him out and then put someone else inside yeah I might have I almost made a mistake here I'm, okay so you go out you go out so I can I can take one scientist up not you not you 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 go up there you go. Next time I'll bring two scientists. Uh, yeah, I need more life support now that I'm having someone else. And then, and then if next time a satellite gets broken, I'll I'll bring a repair technician and leave him there. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah, then none of there are breakings right now. Like I said, I'm trying trying to not make any mistakes so I don't uh, doesn't cost too much. I want to finish the game with the highest ranking, which I believe it might be Archangel. I'm I'm already ranked Angel, so I'm I think I'm already the second highest. But it should I actually I also want to get uh, above one one million there. I'm 
589,500. Also almost there. Okay. Uh, wait, hang on. Uh, orbit 4, okay. Plus, make a stop in, in orbit 4 to leave the satellite and then go to the space station. Pick up the, the military scientist and then leave, leave the other scientists in his place. Okay. It's now February 2011. Plenty, plenty of orbital fuel, not, not a problem. Urgent to join the station, I know, I know. Hold your horses, I'm, I'm getting there. Just gotta make a quick stop here first. I mean, there's no ur real urgency, you just, it's just a message saying, okay, you need to get there, just calm down. <laughs> Not like you have to get there as soon as possible. Just, just make sure you get there in the next mission to bring the scientists home. Okay. And zoom. Satellite in correct, correct orbit. There you go. I'm, I'm going. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah. Yeah, yeah, urgent urgent stage, I'm getting there. She overshot a little bit, but not a problem. Okay, maybe it is a problem. Uh, where is it? Ah! Far away. Yeah, look at that. A little, it's a little space station just floating. Completed. Yeah, very very few polygons, but it's, it's enough to convey that it is a space station, I guess. <laughs> Dock with it. Okay. Slowly get yourself aligned. Get close enough. Uh, okay. Not too close. No one to collide. Easy. Go. Hang on, let me check something. Can I put you here? Nope, see? I I tried placing someone, but because this guy is a military, has military experiments, it's their top secret. No one else can be around. I can put him in the shuttle. Then I can, now I can put you here. <laughs> yeah, good thing I, I, I didn't do what I was going to do and come here with two scientists. I wouldn't be able to ex make the exchange. Okay. Back. Take the scientist and his experiments back to Earth. Get paid. <laughs> Maybe even rank up. Success. And yeah, rank Archangel. Look at that! Look at all the money. Look, we had like five hundred something, five hundred eight something, already up to seven hundred. Mm, yummy! <laughs> Jackpot. And now we get to bring more scientists to the surface or to the to the station. Yeah, you can go up. Uh, like, yeah, you and, and the other one, which... You. Yeah. I can bring two scientists. Uh, actually, hang on. Check to see if any satellites are malfunctioning first. Oh, we got two. Okay, never mind. Science must wait. 
Mechanical malfunction. Mechanical malfunction. Mechanical malfunction. Okay, maybe I, then I can bring one scientist and and an, uh, a technician, an engineer. Okay, okay you will get you back. Uh, some more orbit. Oh yeah, some satellites up too. Oh, okay. Don't no satellites are uh, are in the in the in the docket, I guess, <laughs> to to get get sent up. Okay, no more military experiments, uh, astrophysical experiments, and astrophysical experiments, biochemical experiments. Yeah, I'll take you first. Okay. Now March 2011, let me save. <laughs> On the way to hitting 1 million in monies. Forget what, what kind of money that, what kind of currency that is, but... I mean, it, and it is, is I think, the K means it's 1,000, so actually it's, I'm, I'm already, uh, I'm actually closer to 1 billion <laughs> in money, which makes sense for a space program, but <laughs> yeah, EC, US, I don't remember, actually I think the manual might have something, let me check here, while, while I'm heading up, uh, DSS Mega. International Space Corporation. Special. Uh, hmm. Number obtained in your capital will show your degree of success. Yeah, see, like I said, the objective of the game is to just make enough money before December 2013. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing, not seeing, uh, number show, present couple, the OSS, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say what that currency is, oh well. Head to our first satellite, and then we go to yeah, we go from here to here to here to the space station. Sounds like a plan. Nice, right on target. I'd like to see that. Uh, there's a satellite. Yeah, they stopped do playing that uh, weird alarm sound, thankfully. <laughs> no, it's just a soothing track. Oh, there it is. Okay. You get out there. Don't come back until you re repaired that satellite. Very slow breathing, but I guess if you're in space, you want to conserve your air. Slowly, okay. And repair. Repair, execute. And go back. Okay, next stop. Here. Nice. 
Nice. Right on target again. Yeah. A little closer. I mean, I, c I could stop by by you pressing the opposite button to reduce my speed, but it's so much easier to just click the stop button. I don't really care that it costs more, uh, more approach energy. It's worth worth the worth the cost. Lined up. Yeah, it's actually a good thing that you can sh go in one direction and then turn because that turning while you're going almost like you're strafing makes it easier to line up and line yourself up. Slowly and now and repair done. Any, any astronauts watching uh, probably thinking, oh, if only it was this easy in real life. Press a button and boom, repair, repair. Come back. And next stop, the space station. Oh, overshot a little bit. Shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, like I said, uh, I was planning to. Uh, I'm planning to leave leave this technician up here in case in case uh, in case I need uh, uh, in case three satellites with three different problems show up makes it easier to fix all three. I already have uh, one technician aboard or one technician in orbit. distance uh, uh, I don't think this is just, yep packing impossible place at 25 yeah not not lined up a little bit this way very slowly okay should be should be fine now nope still not We are too close. Okay, now we should be okay. Huh. Well, maybe this triangle is not... A little closer? Yeah, maybe this triangle is not the, the correct one. Maybe I can only dock at this one? Yeah, that worked. Okay. Okay. One more experiment. And yeah, we got plenty of room in the, on the station. You can stay here. <laughs> now we go back to Earth. I don't remember, okay, so which technician is up in the, at the station. Ah, went down too soon. Oh well, I'm still, I still have plenty of money. That even if I cost uh, the shuttle, I'm still, I'm still rank archangel. 
Which is, yeah, that's that's the point of getting way above the amount necessary whenever I screw up. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think, I don't know if there is any cost in, like, human lives whenever I screw up the landing. <laughs> I mean, I'm still here. And I, I think that if uh, any technicians were with me, they would still be alive. Yeah. Okay, we've got one one satellite, one satellite in needing to go up. I mean, maybe I maybe I crash the shuttle, but it doesn't explode or completely. Just maybe it's like a survivable crash. It just ruins the the shuttle, and then it costs a lot of money to repair it. Oh yeah, I was going to take another scientist up. Yeah, I can take you up. Okay. No. And we got an, one astrophysical experiment coming up. Okay, one sa satellite, one scientist. Sounds like a mission plan. Oh yeah, let's check the satellites. Oh, there's one malfunction. Mechanical malfunction. Well, my it just so happens that my mechanical engineer is already up there, so I can. Uh, yeah, I can I can stop by the space station, leave this scientist there, and pick him up. Uh, and the satellite, satellite, which orbit again? Orbit three. Orbit three is that the one with only one space left? Yeah. The only only spot in orbit three that's free. So if another after this one, if another another one shows up that needs to be put in orbit three, I, I have to ignore it. Orbit four has three spaces. Orbit two has one, two, three. And orbit one has four spaces. Okay, let's save. Even though I crashed, I'm still still fine to save right now. I mean, if a mission goes horribly wrong, then if I like I crashed with the military guy, maybe I, I would have reloaded because that, that would have cost a lot of money. But yeah, I wasn't. And or if I if I crashed with a satellite that ne needed to be brought back because it was out of order, that would also be costly. I think you also get money for every successful landing. I mean, the same amount that you would have lost if you uh, fail the landing, you will gain by landing successfully. I think there's a command to land automatically without uh, without doing that landing phase, but then you don't get anything. Uh, three. So I don't. Yeah, I don't even bother to. I. I, I don't even bother to find out what the, that command is because I might as well keep using it. Even even if there's a risk of failure, but the risk of success is is worth it. And yeah, my f success rate is pretty pretty good so far. I mean, I only fa only failed twice. Debris to be destroyed. Yeah. see the debris there the blue dot floating around and stop 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 there. fire the laser and satellites 
correct orbit. There it is. Now we go to the station to leave the scientists and pick up the repairman. <laughs> yeah, the, this is a good, uh, good, uh, I guess, escalation of of difficulty. With more satellites aboard, you gotta, you have more stuff to manage more things to do I mean yeah the missions now don't involve just going up leaving something going back down going up leaving something going back down no no just... now I'm doing multiple things with each during each mission uh, having to make multiple stops and figure out exactly who to take who not to take but yeah there is some depth to this game I make it, I'm making it look easy because I've, I studied the manual so I, and did a practice run, so I kind of know what to do, but... but... Yeah, it can't still be a little tricky. Oh, I'm a little too close. Too close for comfort. Oh yeah, not this one, the, the middle one. <laughs> Keep forgetting. There we go. Yeah, got plenty of room for pl lots of st scientists. You come back. Yeah, got six, six more s spaces left. I mean, I could just, I have three uh, technicians, I could just leave all three of them and then even, and have more room for three more scientists. <laughs> okay, let's go fix the satellite and then I gotta bring you back to the station. <laughs> oh. I wonder, uh, do, will I have enough orbital energy? Because yeah, this, this maneuver of picking someone up at the station making them repair a scientist, uh, repair a satellite and then come back to the station, that costing more orbital energy than if I just, if I just uh, went up with him and came here, but, but yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm preparing for the future. I know that eventually there might come a time where all, where a bunch of satellites are broken and uh, I'll need all three uh, technicians in orbit. Better to be safe than sorry. Even if it costs more money, more orbital energy, uh, it's, it's worth it to keep all the sign, all the satellites working. I mean, I have I have plenty of money to spare anyway, so and I can afford. Take these precautions. Yeah. yeah green triangle that way. Close. Uh, not, not too close. Too close. Too close. Go slowly. Okay. And repair. There you go. Uh, yeah. How much orbital energy will it take to get to the space station? Yeah. Okay. Just enough. Work. 
here again. Yeah, I held held the button for too long and now I'm going very fast. Yeah, the longer the longer you hold the the thruster button, the faster you go. Gotta be careful. There. Backing executed. You get back in there. And done. And go back home. And this time, not screw up the landing. Hopefully. Gotta be careful not to move the mouse either, because yeah, both the keyboard and the mouse control the, this joystick. Okay, and break. There we go. Maybe that's what happened before. Maybe I might might have moved the mouse too early and went down too fast. Crashed into into the. Okay. It's already May 2011. Uh, any satellites? Nope. And let's get more orbital energy right away so you don't forget. By the way, mouse sensitivity on this is a little low, so I sometimes I have to make multiple movements just to get just to get to where I want to go. Let's see any satellites malfunctioning. Okay, got one. Is it mechanical again? Is it? It is mechanical again. Okay. Well, actually, actually, it's better because that now that way we we can bring uh, more scientists up to the station. If it wasn't mechanical, I'll I'll only be able to bring one scientist and another technician. Okay, India. Oh, but there's only one scientist that I want to bring. There's this from India. The other ones are military experiments, and I can't put, I can't put you in a space station full of people. Oh well. Well, might as well actually bring another technician, and leave him there. <laughs> oh, actually, hang on. We have no satellites. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. You you get up there. There you go. Uh, okay. So I'll leave the, the leave that engine. Yeah, go straight to the station. Leave that engineer. Pick up the mechanical engineer. Go to the satellite. Repair it. Come back. Yeah. Oh yeah, and leave the uh, scientist. The other scientist. I mean, right now we have a bunch of scientists in the station. Once, uh, at some point, we'll probably get a bunch of those your urgent join the station messages because they'll be finishing up their experiments. Yeah, but right now, you cannot you can uh, put put the more of them up there. wait <laughs> I mean back then in these in these computers I mean the computers back then even this uh, uh, interface and 3d environment would might sometimes take a while to load so they prepared a mission whoa I'm already very close they prepared a message and That was easy. Okay, put you here. Got, yeah, I got four scientists and two technicians. Nice. Uh, okay, you come here. Do 
over here. Mechanical malfunction. Getting the, getting the hang of, of uh, nailing the, the orbital uh, thrusters here. <laughs> Although even if you do nail it, sometimes overshoot for a little bit. There it is. That's what approach energy is for. <laughs> okay, close enough. Maybe too close, actually. Like I said, I don't want, don't want to be too close to the satellites. Otherwise, my technician might bump into it and collide. <sighs> Stop right here and see where I am. Because yeah, as soon as the as soon as uh, this uh, section starts, I'm already moving a little bit away from the shuttle. So if I'm too close to the satellite, just this little bit of movement can be enough for me to collide with it, and cause damage to one of my thrusters, and then I won't be able to move in a certain direction. I'll have to do that thing where I turn the, all the way the other direction in order to line up. Okay. A little closer. Yeah, I can. I'm, I'm not pressing this button much because I can press the space bar to stop. Prepare executed. In case you're wondering why I'm not using this button to stop. And go back. Okay, now we go back to the station, leave him there. Then go back to Earth. Oh. Yeah, next time if there are no... Uh, satellites needing repairs, or no scientists, uh, and no satellites. I might just do another mission where I just bring the last repair, repair in the last engineer to the, to the station. <laughs> Leave all three up here. Uh, where is it? Down. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait. here and stop also stop executed okay yeah yeah pretty pretty easy I mean pretty uh, not a lot of complications so far. The, me, me being careful earlier paid off. <laughs> Land. Uh, from here. I want to turn. Can't turn too much before we reach the ground. Okay, and break. Okay. As long as you're kind of at an angle and you don't come down too much, and you hold the the button to break, you're you're landing success successful. Okay, how are the satellites? Huh? See, like I like like I said, once you have this many satellites orbit in orbit. It's likely that one of them will, will at least one of them will fail. Okay, communications malfunction. Okay. 
communications engineer is already up there, right? Yeah, we got only the computer one left. To here. Choice. Uh, no, uh, no more scientists left. So they, you, you, you two stay here. And no, no satellites left. Okay, let's invest in the orbital energy, which we'll need plenty of. More approach. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm going I'm taking this last uh, engineer up to the station, picking up the the one that's already up there. That's the communications expert to fix the satellite and then bring her back. Yeah, good, good plan. And already at eight hundred forty-two thousand. Getting there. Oh, like I said, I want to at least reach a million, which seems very likely considering we still have plenty of months left. Yeah, it takes three squares of, of orbital energy to reach the station from the starting point. Yeah, at this point, uh, 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 all these missions feel like routine, you know? <laughs> Once you do the same task multiple times, it becomes uh, easier and easier, and you just don't have to think about too much. I mean, I guess that's, a, that's why astronauts uh, train so much, uh, keep the, doing the same operations over and over again. So when, when it's time to do the real thing, it's just second nature. Big water tanks. And yeah, sometimes I'll still crash the shuttle, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, shut up. I'm still... <laughs> I'm not, at least I'm not crashing into... Uh, into anything in orbit. And I'm also not getting so lost as I was in the first time. Uh, yeah, when I was trying to get to the spot where I needed to launch the satellite the first time, a little bit got a little bit lost. But now that I got the hang of it, uh, is this enough? Yeah. Okay. Leave you here. Yeah, I got all the scientists that I want, and still all the all the technicians. I still have two two uh, slots left. So unless more scientists show up, I don't don't even need all these to be unlocked. Okay, it's a communication malfunction, if I recall. I'll stay here. Yeah, communication malfunction. If I do this, yeah. Minor breakdown. How many, yeah, how many satellites do I have? One, two, three, four. And orbit three, a bunch. I can't quite. Oh, can I? One, two, three. Uh. Six in orbit three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Actually, yeah, thirteen satellites total. <laughs> okay, let's go to Chakri. I 
I wonder if there will ever will we ever have a mission where there's literally nothing to do because no satellites got broken and there are no scientists or satellites needed to go up. Has not happened yet? But like I said, I've been doing such a good job. It might it might come a time where there's nothing left to do because I've already done them all. It was too efficient. And then I was just gotta go up and then back down just to for time to pass. So <laughs> should that that would be kind of funny. Go on a, a space mission just to just so one month passes and uh, more satellites become uh, available to go up. Uh, Yeah, sometimes the polygons will, will not be in the correct order and you see stuff going through them. I mean, it was it was hard to program uh, polygons to show up in 3D back in the day. I, I tried doing a, a, this rudimentary polygon. Uh, I tried coding a, a very rudimentary 3D engine. Very hard to actually work out which polygons should be in front, if, especially if they're uh, part of a single uh, same object where one some part of this object has to has to stay in, in front and part of it has to stay behind it's easier to just that back then at any way it was easier to treat uh, multiple polygons as a, s a single object so then it, it would get tricky look at that see the side is the side is is in front of the middle. Engine thinks that it's oh, almost collided with the shuttle. Engine thinks it's in in it's in front. Okay, all green. Get you back to the station. I mean, I am doing this, but I, mean, I wonder: will I actually, will will this that scenario that I mentioned actually come to pass with uh, where multiple uh, satellites will break at the same time, and I'll need all all my repair, all my engineers at the same time? I wonder. I might have been too too cautious here and been. Uh, prepared so much that even this uh, technique that I'm using here w won't be necessary because I already made m other preparations. <laughs> but yeah, it's better not to let uh, satellites get damaged or go out of order because then you have to pick it up, uh, take it back to Earth. You need, need to take a, a tech, an engineer to the satellite to pick it up anyway. I mean, yeah, right now it, there aren't that many satellites to go up. So if I did I need to repair a satellite and... Uh, had to bring it back down only to bring it back up again. It wouldn't be that big of a deal because there aren't that many other satellites. But if, yeah, if I had too many satellites at once competing to get delivered before their time ran out, then yeah, you wouldn't want one more satellite uh, added to the list because you didn't repair it fast enough. Okay, you stay here. Enjoy your life in the space station. You're, you're a permanent resident. <laughs> and land. Wait, did I see that? I thought I saw it orange for a second there, man. Yeah, 
Angel. Oh, oh dear, we got, we got one that's already red. Yeah, I thought it, I kind of thought it would only get red uh, if we left it orange for too long, but... Computer malfunction. Hmm. Another computer malfunction. Okay. Uh, any satellites needing to go up? Nope. And more scientists be besides you two? No? Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't need to bring anything up because, yeah, the technicians are already up there. Get more orbital energy. Which, yeah, kind of kind of saves in in, uh, in money, I guess, if we don't have to keep bringing stuff up and down. Makes sense to keep stuff up there. Because it takes, yeah, it takes a lot more trouble to get stuff off the planet than to move them from uh, the station to a satellite. Which is, yeah, much more reason to keep people up there. 894, almost, almost there. Save. Yeah. My, my space program is getting very profitable. July 2011. Yeah, I don't think there's a problem with... Uh, the, I don't think there's a risk of them breaking while you're in this screen. There is a problem if they are... if you go back down, and because like I said, it takes one month between uh, missions. By then, yeah, the, if a satellite was about to break, then it completely breaks. <laughs> But up here, not not really a problem. You can you can make multiple. I think you can make multiple stops and not have to worry about them breaking on the way. Yeah, you know, communication, right? Let me check. Wait, let me check here. Uh, minor breakdown, major breakdown. Oh, that's why it's red. Oh, the Saudade, the Bra the Brazilian uh, space uh, satellite is is the, one of the broken ones. Oh, this one. Oh, that's the flamenco. Oh dear. Oh, that clicked on the wrong one. Wait, why did I click on that? Yeah, that's the, the the Brazilian one. Computer malfunction. Okay. Station. Kind of feel, feeling like a, a space chauffeur at this point. Just driving people around. Going to one place to another. Knock knock, your space Uber is here. <laughs> Computer. Don't, don't really need to locate the satellite to start the mission. I just want to make sure I'm not too close. Yeah, it feels feels a little too close. Right? Back away a little bit. Back it up. There. And yeah, the, the this interface with all these buttons that aren't labeled kind of uh, felt 
a little intimidating at first, but yeah, now that I've all I've, I've used all of them, including those all those numbers, not quite as intimidating anymore. You get you get used to the interface <laughs> for a while. Wait, 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 wait. Oof. It's a little too fast there. Okay. Very nice. And zoom, zoom back to the station. Okay, next stop. This satellite. Whoops. Yeah, I forgot it was in the same orbit, so it was it was in the orbital direction, so it only take took a little bit of energy. Wasn't expecting it to be just one square. Yeah, the lack lack of music in this section also makes it a little, uh, I guess, anxiety inducing. <laughs> I guess it makes you, like I said, increases the immersion, makes you really feel like you're alone in space with only the sound of your breath. Like how I feel when when I'm uh, there were a couple of opportunities where I was could take a, a, a bath in a, a bathtub. So if you uh, get under not completely under the water, but enough so that your your face is above the water, but uh, your ears are under the water and just lay there. It's kind of very quiet, almost like those sensory deprivation tanks. And then all you hear is your own breath. <laughs> kind of reminds me of this. Laying in a tub of water. With nothing. No sound. Besides your breath. Whoa. Oh yeah, this one is a spinning satellite, but I gotta match the rotation. Uh, still not. Okay, good enough. Repair. Oh, pay for transfer, yeah, this... This one was so malfunctioned that it need, needs to be... It can't be repaired here, it needs to be... Brought back to Earth for repairs. Okay. Bring it, bring it back. Yeah, I can't. Hang on. I mean, just make sure. I can't just, can't just redeploy it, right? <laughs> debris, to, debris to be destroyed. I'm not. Oh well, fine. Fire the laser. Okay, can I? Can I just redeploy it? I actually don't remember. Do, do I have to bring it back to Earth or can I just... Yeah. I guess I didn't need to bring it back to Earth. I could, I could repa I repaired it in the shuttle. Okay, even better. Oh yeah, I gotta bring you back to the station. Thank you. 
mean, kind of nice that these tunes, uh, this music you could listen to on a CD and even, even rip into MP3 files because it might be nice to listen outside the game. Nowadays, you'd have to buy the soundtrack separately. <laughs> there we go. Back to Earth. Maybe I should learn what what button is, uh, I need to press to land automatically. I mean, I, I'm already have so much money. I don't need to risk uh, this to get more. Yeah, but the manual is a little vague. Uh, in, in in this case, uh... ah, someone someone's done with their experiment. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably need to get, stop by at the station anyway, so I might as well. I'll, I'll pick pick someone up, pick them up, uh, on the way. Yeah. Okay, uh, lateral rotation, landing. Here we go. Uh, exceptional bonus of ten thousand if you kilo crowns. Oh, that's what it's. That's what it. The 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 currency is. Hmm. I guess it's a fictional currency. <laughs> uh, Yeah, if, if there's an, an, an not a successful uh, landing, then it'll cost you 10,000 kilocrowns. Uh, now this just says it's all after you already started landing. Where is the where's the landing button? I think that said if you press it while holding something, it'll skip the landing sequence. But I yeah, it's a little confusing. Uh, here we go. Return to base, number seven. Back to Earth, yeah. Uh, on CDTV, click the icon with the right button B. Yeah, I tried. I tried uh, clicking it with the right button with the uh, right mouse button, and still didn't. Doesn't, still doesn't work. So, yeah, this. Or maybe it all. It's only on CDTV. Because yeah, I don't. I actually don't know if this CD-ROM can be used on other equipment because there's a, a section here in the manual that says oh if you have a keyboard you can press tab to see change the numbers oh, wait what do i mean if you, I, if i have a keyboard isn't this to be used with a with a pc <laughs> okay uh let's save here so, yeah i don't may, maybe they didn't uh Maybe the, there isn't an option to skip the landing on the PC. Maybe it's only for this CDTV. Any satellites? Nope. No need to. Any new scientists? I mean, I guess uh, I'll bring that the, one of the scientists, the, wh wh whichever scientists are done, I'll bring them back to Earth, and then they'll probably need to get back up there with mo new experiments. Okay, so let's see. Okay, yeah, the si the satellites are all done. So yeah, I guess all we have to do for this mission is get to the station, pick up a scientist, 
bring them back to Earth. And we're done. Almost near a million. Uh, kilocroms, I guess, yeah. I guess that's the, that's the currency. Uh, let me just get some more orbital energy. Approach energy, might as well, since I'm not carrying anything else. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting seventy four thousand a month from all the satellites. Very nice. Yeah, I wonder when we'll have more. I mean, we, we, we can still place more satellites around it. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can, we can still place 10 more satellites if we keep maintaining the, these ones. Urgent, join the station. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Don't worry. The scientist that uh, needs to come back will be displayed in, in red. Uh, where's the where's the docking port? I guess I yeah I, I, like I said before I did I did enjoy playing this as a kid but I guess once you once you do a full playthrough and you kind of do everything you there's not much much reason to come back <laughs> I guess I only played this a couple times I yeah, see this this one their experiment is done so they're ready to come back to it whoops wrong one I thought I clicked, but I have to select here, which serial biochemical biochemical engineer uh, experiment. Get your results back to okay. What? Is the mouse button is holding D. Nope. Click with the right mouse button. Still, did not skip the the landing sequence. Whoa! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh dear, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Not a little bit, a little bit unwieldy there. Second. Whoa! Actually, there is a higher higher ranking than than Archangel. There's Cherub. No. And I got to one million kilocrowns. Nice. Oh. Whoa. Satellite not just malfunctioning, but already major malfunction. Communication. Okay. Well, since everyone's already up there, don't have to worry about uh, picking up the right uh, experiment. Yeah, you you got brought back. So I got paid from the money from you, that experiment. So now, yeah, you did. You are available for another trip, I guess. I can just pick you up again. Take you, take you. Any satellites? Oh, got one satellite. And luckily, it's just heavy enough that we can take it with us. Nice. Okay. We're at our limit here in orbital energy. Hmm. I hope that's. Yeah, I hope we have enough. Because, yeah, I gotta. 
stop by the station, leave this scientist and pick up the, the engineer to fix the satellites. But also leave the satellites, yeah. Uh, let me save here, just in case. I have to try and plan my, my trip here so I don't waste too much orbital energy. can skip, skip, skip this uh, lift-off sequence. Okay, uh, what's the plan here? I have one, and I have... You go to orbit one. Uh, okay, maybe I go to the station, and go to here, and from here go to here. Be. How much would that this take? Uh, okay. How much does this take? I uh, can't quite see. I think. I think this is glitching out. Yeah, this this should should have displayed. Uh, amount of energy that we're going to use. Uh, okay, let's yeah, let's do this. Go to the station first. Should have saved on approach energy since I'm not really using it a lot. And invested more on orbital energy. Whoa! Oh, I'm very close. Oh dear. Back up, back up. Yeah, well, a little, a little, a little too. Too close with that, my, my orbital approach. I stopped right next to the station. Okay. Uh, wait, was it what? What? What kind of defect was the communication? Right. Uh, oh, I hope, hope it is, otherwise I'll have to dock again. Yeah, let me check. Yeah, communication, okay. Phew! Uh, but actually, yeah, we'll make a stop at orbit 1 to leave a satellite. Hmm... Getting, getting very close there. Uh, Read to be destroyed, sure. the laser That's weird always makes this weird sound when I not whenever I fire the laser okay. there you go. satellite delivered now do we have enough orbital energy to reach this satellite? Uh, barely. Oh, 
Oh dear. Cutting it close there. We might have also have just enough to get to the station. What? Sound like bro breaking down while I'm here. Mechanical malfunction. What? Ah, uh, dang it. Don't have enough orbital energy to go to the station, pick up another, uh, pick up another technician and come back. Well, let's just repair this one. Uh, maybe I'll just land with this one. We just land with this technician, bring them back up later. Where are you? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe this time I, I chose way too many things to do at once. Yeah, I, might, I might lose one, one satellite because of it. Okay, for transfer, but I should be able to redeploy it. Yeah, I have to be facing the 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 shuttle in order to press this button and return. There you go. Okay, can I just? Yeah. Don't don't have enough orbital energy to reach that. <coughs> okay. Well, at least I repaired this. Yeah, that shouldn't be should be a problem to bring this uh, technician back home. I don't have any scientists to go back up, and uh, although I might, nah, yeah, cutting a little too close. Okay. a little hard to tell if I'm too low or not, but... There. There we go. Cherub? I wonder, is there any... Oh! Someone else needs a ride home. <laughs> Any satellites need to go up? Okay, one, two, oh, three, whoa, okay, suddenly a bunch of satellites needing, needing to go up, okay. Uh, all of them by February 2012. Okay, which, as well, might as well take the heaviest. And then buy orbital energy. More, 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 more. Wanna run out again? Okay. I mean, yeah, I will have to stop by the space station anyway, so might as well leave this uh, engineer there. And this goes to orbit four. Yeah, three is the one that's full. Keep that in mind. How's this? How's this satellite? Oh dear. Yep, this one's completely malfunctioned. Hey, Lep. These are all, all, all my satellites in orbit. A bunch of them are breaking. Uh. <laughs> oh, hello from 2021. Oh, happy new year. 
How, how's the future? <laughs> I'm still, unfortunately, I'm still in 2020. Playing, playing, still playing this game because for some reason, looking back at this year, I get, I got this urge to leave the planet. So, so I figured, hey, might as well play a space sim. <laughs> uh, okay, mechanical malfunction. Yeah, Norman Fox Lee gave you a, a gift, gives it sub. Okay, hang on. Uh, mechanical? Computer? Mechanical. Okay, so still not, not that scenario that I envisioned where we have three malfunctioning satellites in each with uh, different problems where we need three, three uh, technicians at once. But still, I think it's better that uh, all my technicians are already in orbit. I just have to uh, pick them up at the station and go from one satellite to another repairing each one yeah shouldn't be a problem oh yeah and, and there's one there's one uh... wait where's my where's my shuttle <laughs> it should be here <laughs> uh there's one uh major breakdown minor breakdown major breakdown there's one that i need to put on orbit four yeah, orbit three is full. Four still has uh, three slots. Okay, I can stop by the station and then go he go here, and then go around and start fixing the satellites. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh yeah, wait. That's why. That's why my. <laughs> that's why my shuttle is not here. I'm. I'm not up there yet. This is. This is the view from the base. What am I doing? <laughs> but yeah, okay. Oh. I'll bring one technician one side. And scientists are still, yeah. There's still these two military scientists that I'm not bringing. They they take too long with their experiments. Better to uh, keep uh, going to the station and managing multiple scientists than to keep that one scientist there for a long time. Yeah, that's my. This is my space station. Talk. Four experiments. I want. Oh, yeah. What's the, what does the seventy mean? I mean, the seven seven thousand three hundred five much is probably the total weight of equipment. Two spare parts. Six crew. Actually, should be more. Two spare parts. I should have four. Yeah. Six crew. Yeah. Four scientists and two. Uh, engineers for experiments nine station modules but what what is two spare parts oh, oh well uh yeah i think that's the plan stop by the space station pick up uh engine the leave the scientist no pick up the scientist wait wait uh which one do i have already here hang on I have the communications expert. And there's a... Is there a satellite with communications problem? No, this is a mechanical. Computer. And this one's also mechanical. Hmm. I might have to do two trips to the space station. Because I'll need two... Uh, the computer and mechanical uh, computer and mechanical experts to fix all three satellites but I only have room on the space station for one uh, I mean I have to go to the space station to get uh, get the scientist that's ready to go home anyway That means I'll, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to go three times. One to leave this technician, and then pick up the two, and then leave put the 
satellite in orbit, and then repair, and then come back, leave them again, and take the scientists and land. land. Okay. Okay, yeah. That sounds like a, the flight plan. <laughs> huh? Yeah, getting complicated. I mean, it's not even late game yet. I think it's the mid middle of the game, but I mean, it's March, no, October. Yeah, this European space simulator, so it uses day, month, year for the dates. Uh, so it's uh, October third, two thousand eleven. So yeah, we're actually approaching the halfway mark. station but I'm not picking up the scientists yet <laughs> I'm going to have to wait for the next uh, time next time I'm at the station yeah I wonder if it's just bad luck that three uh, three satellites got broke at the same time or is it what are the odds, I guess? <laughs> I want to know. Line up that. Line up a little more. Oh. So you get down. get back. I need you and I need you to repair some satellites. You can wait. Uh, okay, and I have a satellite that needs to go to orbit four. Might as well pick this one. Little bit. Uh, a little far away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still too far away. Okay. And that. So now we go all the way around here. Do, 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 do. Start repairing satellites. And ignore the urgent joint station message. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't think there's a penalty for leaving the scientists there too long is just just to warn you away hey, i'm ready to go home can you pick me up please hello <laughs> wait wait uh wait uh what was the problem with this satellite again uh, i forgot Might as well check. Wait, this one was computer. Yeah, these two were mechanical. Oh, those right next. To us. Come on. Yeah, I think only one was mechanical, or only one was computer. The other two were mechanical. 
I'm gonna risk it. Okay, good thing I didn't get reset or something. Mechanical. Gotta send the right person to do the job, so if you don't, I'll probably get a... If they're the wrong person, I'll just get an error message or something. I wonder if anyone who's uh, worked on this game will ever watch this uh, on, the, on the YouTube archives at some point. Because <laughs> yeah, like I said, there weren't a lot of recorded whoa, recorded playthroughs of this game <laughs> on, on YouTube anyway. Kind of want to. Okay. It would be kind of cool if they just so happen to find mine. Back away a little bit. Yeah, because the stop button is all the way over there, it's easier for me to press the space bar. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Can, I re can I repair already? Close enough, right? Okay. Well, not repair, but transfer. Okay, so I should be able to do this. For some reason, you have to leave and come back. And then redeploy it. I mean, assuming, assuming they, the problem was so great that they couldn't fix, fix it uh, while in the spacesuit. They needed to bring it back into the shuttle to fix it. But yeah, it's fixed. Now you, you have a computer problem. Keep that in mind. Yeah, better to do this in the, this straight line so I don't, don't use up a lot of orbital energy. If it was the other way around, it would be... I'd have to do, do keep doing lo loops around the Earth. It'd be a lot more costly. Okay, wait, what? No oh, function. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't collide with anything. Why is my thruster malfunctioning? Ah, dang it. I guess that's kind of the risks of, of space travel. You never know when your equipment might break. And you have to deal with it. Fix it somehow. At least not. these thrusters are still working, so... Yeah, not sure what happened there. Maybe there's a random chance that uh, one of the thrusters will just stop working for no reason. Okay. Should be able to just repair you without taking... Get repair executed. Okay. Now you're next, and you're mechanical. I think I brought pl plenty of orbital energy. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't move up. Move all the way around and then stop. There it is. A little closer. I already have a one thruster malfunction. Okay, mechanical. So 
want to risk the space chair also malfunction. Oh dear. He almost collided with. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, can I? Okay. There's a shuttle. Hello? I think I can. Yeah, I can increase the sensitivity of that radar as well. Here we go. I do this, and then come back. So all this debris, maybe, yeah, it was the debris the, one, the thing that caused the, the malfunction? Oh dear. Yeah, maybe, that, maybe it is space debris that's causing my thruster to malfunction too. There's always a, that risk when you're in space. Fire the laser! Okay. Okay. Enough laser. And redeploy the satellite. Okay. There, all satellites repaired. I go back to the station. Yeah, did, did a lot in this mission. Very productive. I brought one of the brought uh, one of the engineers back to the station. Deployed a satellite. Repaired three satellites, and I'm uh, bringing back a uh, another scientist. Oh dear, got a dock, and this. Dock at this space station with a malfunctioning thruster. Okay. Okay. Just go here, forward. Nope. Yeah, better to go all the way around. <laughs> Just to move a little bit up, I got to go all the way around. Okay. Right. Hmm. A little bit more. Actually, wait. What am I doing? I could could have just turned sideways and yeah, do this. Whoops. Yeah, if my up and down motion is not working, I'll just use my left left to right mo motion. Hmm. There you go. You two get back to the station. And you get home. Wait, where, who are you? Oh, you from the USA. Oh. Yes. Okay, hang on. Uh, any of these buttons work? Yeah, even the middle mouse button still doesn't skip the landing sequence, so yeah, I don't know if anything will do it. Okay, go down, go down, and break. There you go. Yeah, so far I think I only crashed twice, so still pretty good. Okay. 
save here. Almost at the end of 2011. Yeah, you get brought back, but then I can just bring you back up for some more experiments. Any science and satellites? Oh yeah, now I actually need have a bunch of satellites that need to go up. Uh, but I can't. Yeah, I can't bring more, more than one. So pick one, one, two. Germany, CCE, Italy, Germany. Three satellites. Two for February, one for March, and it's November. Yeah, we have enough time. Okay, life support doesn't, doesn't look good to have it so low. Okay. I mean, yeah, all, with all our uh, technicians in orbit, it don't even make sense for me to check the satellites before going up might as well uh, oh three malfunction oh dear communication computer computer okay and you go to Orbit two. Yeah, hang on. Uh number one, number one, number one. Okay, no no satellites to orbit three. I was kinda of worried. Okay, I, were they going to give me a, a satellite that goes to orbit three even though there are no slots available in orbit three? Uh orbit two. How many slots in orbit two? One, two, three. Yeah, plenty. Yeah. Three and one as well. Yeah. One, two, three in orbit one. One, two, three in orbit two. And two in orbit four. Yeah, I wonder. Will, what will happen when all the slots are filled? Will, will, will they still have satellites to be sent up? And I don't think... I, I don't remember if I've ever reached this point in the game. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, there are multiple levels. You can play this in level 1, which is the easiest, or level 6, the hardest. I'm in level 5. But yeah, I guess because of the rep kind of repetitive nature of the of the gameplay, I, I don't remember playing through this game too many times to find out uh, the exact differences between the levels. Like what you can accomplish. Can, can you even... In this later level, can you even fill out all the other? Because I did a practice run on level one, and they did not give enough satellites to fill all the, all the slots. I wonder if in the later levels they will they will give you enough satellites uh, to fill every available orbit. Orbit two. Hmm. I leave the saddle no this, this orbit is on, on the way on the way to to this so i might as well go to the space station first leave the scientists pick up the engineers and then come back go back here and then here and start fixing the satellites Yeah, my thruster is functioning again, thankfully. <laughs> they fixed it on Earth.
Yeah, is this going to be common now with having three satellites breaking every time? I wonder. Gonna get or maybe it's at, maybe later in the game we'll have all or like mo mo most satellites uh, malfunctioning and then I'll have to stop by one one by one. Escalating more and more pro pro problems. Uh, uh, what was the problem? I, yeah, it was computer and communications, right? Yeah, computer and communications. Okay. okay. So the satellite goes to orbit two. I'm gonna get it here. too much could have been better yeah overshot a little bit back it up back it up back it up back it up okay mozart from germany wait communication malfunction what i just i didn't even Deployed the satellite and it's already broken. What? Come on. Well, thankfully, I just so happened to have, I just so happened to have a communications expert with me. Huh? Didn't know that could happen. Actually, <laughs> I thought it would take a while for any any satellites to break. I didn't think they'd break on the way. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I think I shouldn't be facing the satellite because the the yeah the the expert here will the astronaut will leave toward the front of the of the shuttle. Yeah. So this should work. Yeah. Very well. <laughs> Turned out there were four satellites needed to be. Repaired. Wait, satellite okay? What do you... It said it was... I had a communication malfunction. What? Eh, uh, fine. Whatever. Okay, game. <laughs> oh, well. Here next. Uh, wait, what problem? What, what was wrong with you again? Communication malfunction, okay. Like right right now I'm playing playing as Darth Vader here. With this all this breathing. Fair executed, there we go. Next on the list. Just click here. Computer moment. Okay. Uh. 
is bad. <laughs> Should be fine. Computer, right? Ah, short term memory it's failing me. Yeah, I hope I got the right technician, astronaut, engineer, <laughs> keep calling them different things. Okay, next on the list, this one. You have a computer malfunction. Yeah, I was thinking, should I should I keep one of the engineers on Earth, or maybe two? I mean, I'm not really transporting too many other people, like scientists. But then, uh, I mean, if I have if I have the two engineers on my on the ship right right away, I might just go. I might I might be able to go straight to the satellite without having to stop on by the station pick them up but then I'd have to get lucky that the the satellites with problems are ex the exact type of problems as the engineers that are with me and not the one engineer that's left behind in the station and yeah the, their weight might also interfere with putting satellites into orbit so yeah maybe not better to use up all the use up all the uh, orbital energy to move around between the orbits. Wait, what? What was the problem again? Communication, right? The last one was computer. No. This was, it was computer, yeah. No, no, wait, wait. Not communication. Computer problem. Who knew that a game this simple would require brain power? Okay. Ah, uh, it collide with this, my own shadow. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Okay. Can you repair it? Okay. Whew. All done. All green, That's what we like to see. And I got one more satellite in orbit, so I'm, yeah, I'm actually doing a good job at maintaining the ones that are already in orbit and also adding. So eventually, if this keeps up, I might be able to fill fill up the, all the orbital slots eventually. I mean, I already, already achieved my first goal of, of getting 1 million kilograms. So might as well have another goal, which is to fill up all the 
Orbital. Faces. And yeah, the way to do that is to repair this any malfunctioning satellite so they if they don't if they break down completely, they are be, if they are beyond repair, I'll have to destroy them, so that would go against my objective. Of filling up all the spaces. Uh, okay. Back into the station and you go back into the station. Okay. Ready to land. It doesn't matter how many times I do this, I'm still I still get nervous that I'll crash. Okay. Someone else needs a ride home. <laughs> okay. Get some more orbital energy. A little bit more uh, a approach. There you go. Okay. Get some more satellites up. Hmm. Might be able to take two this time. But uh, yeah, let's prioritize the earlier ones. The ones that uh, don't have as long to wait. Though this one's pretty light, so might as well. This one too. Yeah, only one left. Nice. Uh, are they both orbit one? Yeah. France and Italy, both. Both need to go into orbit one. Okay, what? which satellites are broken this time? Uh, okay. Mechanical communications. Yeah, let's deploy our, our deploy our satellites first, and then we'll we'll wor worry about fixing the ones that are already there. Save. One. Already, uh, January 2012. January 3rd, 2012. So, yeah, still two more years. Hmm. Actually, I might make this a two-parter. Because yeah, I'm already already been streaming for four hours. If this is half the halfway point of the game, the next part will take four more hours. Yeah, my, this I might just leave this as the last mission, and then come back and just to just to, for the sake of completion, go uh, go up on, until the very end of the game, but maybe not today. It feels like feels like it would be a like an eight-hour stream if I if I decided to go all the way to December two thousand thirteen. Especially if they are taking, lo if, if each mission is taking longer and longer. <laughs> okay, let's deploy right here. Okay, next, eh, might as well go here. This one is a little hard to select. Oops, wrong way. Ah. Uh, uh, too far. Hey, Amber. Happy New Year! I was 
2021 between you. <laughs> You're in the future now. I'm still stuck in 2020, fortunately. to be closer in this direction still no hoverboards come on very disappointing future they're like six six years late should have had them since 2015 I mean, you kind of do have, have uh, there. There is a hoverboard kind of device that someone invented, but it's not. It's very big, uh, like uh, like a large drone that you step on. So yeah, not not really commercially viable like the ones in, in the Back to the Future movies. <laughs> Why can't I? Oh, maybe. Come on, I'm, I'm right here. Hmm. Okay, maybe. What's the deal with this one orbit? Keeps. Yeah, I think this is not the first time I tried putting a satellite in this spot and I can't. Let me just. No? Okay, Armana. Huh. Maybe I just can't put a, put a satellite here. Because, yeah, this is not my starting orbit, is it? My starting orbit is over here, so why, why would there be a problem putting a satellite here? Hmm. Oh, well. Put one over there. This might be the final mission of the stream. I've already already been playing this for four hours, so I'm still in the halfway uh, point of the game. <laughs> so I might leave the second half for later. Getting complicated. Uh, multiple multiple uh, satellites breaking. In. Yeah, see this one, uh, no problem. And then I have to manage the satellites breaking and the, the scientists' experiments getting done, having to break them down, having to bring them back to Earth. So, yeah. And yeah, like I said, the more satellites are in orbit, the more, uh, the higher the likelihood that multiple of them will break. So the it's more likely that each the next the next few missions will just get more and more complicated. I mean, yeah, yeah, I've been uh, sending them up and not uh, not allowing anyone, any of them to break down too much, so I haven't lost any satellites yet. <laughs> okay, let me just check here. Uh, you have a mechanical malfunction, and you have a communication malfunction, but thankfully, all my engineers are in the space station. Oh, but actually... I'm gonna have to come back to the space station because uh, there's yeah I'm gonna have to pick up the 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 engineers to fix the satellite. I mean I, yeah I would have to come back here anyway to leave them back, put them to put them back. But uh, besides putting them back at the at the station, I also need to pick up one of the scientists to bring them back to Earth. So yeah, like I said, uh, eventually you get multiple objectives for each mission instead of just going up leaving a satellite going down going up leaving a, sci a scientist going down no now you you do multiple things
here. Turn around. Sometimes it doesn't go, go it doesn't come to a full stop when you press the button the first time, you gotta press a couple times. Kind of annoying. Okay, okay should be enough. Uh, wait, which did I send me? Which which uh, technician did I need? A computer communications? Did I say mechanical? Uh, yeah, maybe I've been playing too long. My my short term memory is failing me. What did, what did I just say? I'm willing to bet it was computer and communications. Computer and communications. Computer communications. Come on. Mechanical. Dang it. Mechanical communication. Okay, okay, okay. Figured I wouldn't be in the same place. Mechanical communication. Mechanical communication. Right. The dock all over again because I forgot. Is this is this the sign of old age coming? Am I just, am I just getting too old? <laughs> Can you call? Yeah. Yeah, they say short term memory is the first thing to go though. <laughs> I mean, communication mechanical. Yeah, I don't remember if I ever ever played this game in this uh, level of difficulty all the way through. So I might, I might be doing better uh, today than I than I ever did as a kid. <laughs> I mean, I did I did read a little more thoroughly through the manual. I I don't remember if I did it when I first played this. Wait, wait. Get closer. I mean, I might, I might have uh, figured this out just by pressing buttons. No, I, I probably, no, I probably did read. I, re I remember reading this manual. This is actually this. This manual is just a single booklet called the, the PS One Media Exploration System, and it act is actually uh, a bunch of manuals all uh, in the same book because these are all the manuals for all the games in the multimedia kit that came with my my 486 computer so we have the manual for alone in the dark and then the manual for battle chess and the manual for ESS mega Oh yeah, and I, like I said, I remember reading through that. I probably did read the manual of this game back in the day. I did also download a PDF uh, of this manual just in case there was something that my manual was missing, but no, it's the same thing. They all say the, the same. They have the same content. Oh, it's another spinning. Spinning satellites. I mean, there's a proper term for it, uh, like geosynchronous or something. But but yeah, I gotta gotta match the rotation before I repair it. Yeah, so if I try repairing it, oh. Get a little 
little too close. Now I rotate. Okay, wrong direction, it's getting faster. I mean, it's really just about pressing the rotate button until the T stops on the screen. There you go. Okay, for transfer. Okay, now stop rotating, getting dizzy. And then I go there. And then I should be able to redeploy. redeploy. I mean, the satellite should be fixed. Yeah, flamenco. Yeah, wasn't this like one of our first satellites? <laughs> okay, one more, one more to be fixed. And this one has mechanical, well, a mechanical malfunction. I keep saying urgent join the station because there's a scientist in the station that is getting a little impatient because they want to go back home. <laughs> Off to sleep? Okay, yeah, pretty should be pretty late there. I remember when I was a kid, I actually had trouble staying up late enough to even witness the the New Year's. <laughs> yeah, midnight was midnight at one point. Staying up at midnight was wait what? Go home immediately. Why? Uh, no, I'm not going home immediately. Maybe I'm running low. Maybe I'm running low on approach energy. Maybe that's what. Oh, maybe that's what all this, all this uh, alarm was back in that back then. Uh, but yeah, b back in the day, I had trouble staying up late. But now. I stay up way past midnight, so not a problem, but yeah, I can't expect other people to sleep as late as I do, so yeah, good night. <laughs> Hope you have a, a way better 2021 than, than everyone had 2020. Uh, mechanical, right. Yeah, just gonna ignore this. Go home immediately warning. <sighs> No, nope, not going home immediately. I'm going to risk it. Yeah, this is. Yeah, the, there's a counter there. I, I see this above that said uh, that's flashing, which is yeah, not something you want want to see happen when you're in space. Yeah, I might, I might. Wait, what if that's... What if that not, what if that's not approach energy? What if that's life support? Oh dear. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe it's in the warning. Uh, go home immediately. Okay, come on. I should have enough life support to reach the station, right? Hmm, barely enough orbital energy, but cutting it close. But yeah, I want to. I just need to reach the station, and then I'll. I'll be able to leave the repair uh, personnel. Leave the repair personnel, and then pick up the scientist, and then go back home. Okay. Yeah. Now I understand. What, what all the al alarm was about. Sounds like an, an ambulance or something <laughs> driving by. Really stressing you. The importance of this warning. Yeah, we're in the red already with life support. Yeah, maybe the, the, the one on the left is approach energy and the one on the right is life support because... 
yeah, they're they're not labeled, but they have these icons. One one, I think I guess these are oxygen tanks, and this is thrusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Leave this. Yeah, they're not labeled with words, but they're labeled with symbols. So. Okay, you get to go home. Okay. Done. Let's let's go home. Whoops. Hold on. One last approach. And done. Eighteen satellite satellites in orbit, nice. Okay, yeah, let me just uh, look at that. <laughs> all uh, all fuels going down. Uh Yeah, I only have one satellite left. Might as well put it out for you here, but also get everything back up. Especially life support, so I don't hear that warning again. Uh, ammo orbit. Hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, how the satellites are doing okay they're all green so actually I should be able to just do one more mission then yeah then deliver this one more satellite to orbit one uh, orbit one is the one I couldn't the last orbit one is this one the one that I haven't been able to Deliver. For some reason. And then one, two, three, four. Only f yeah, only four slots left. Yeah, if if there were any if there were any broken satellites, I might have ended the stream here. But since there are they're all still function, then I'll, all I need to do is go up and leave the satellite and maybe go to the station and leave the the scientists back in there perform another experiment yeah i kind of want to do this one more maybe figure out what's what's the deal with the what's the deal with that one orbit it's not giving me trouble I think that, yeah, I think this satellite was... Is this orbit one? Am I here? No. Yeah, no, there are no... There are no, there are no uh, orbits around here. Okay, let's try and get, get to this location, I guess. Okay, I'm, should have nailed it. Yeah. Exactly where I need to be. So I should be able to deploy. Nice. Okay. This time it worked for some reason. Uh -huh. So now all, yeah, all slots in orbit 1 are filled. All slots in orbit 3 are filled. Two left in orbit two and two left on orbit four. Nice. Progressing a lot. Let's just get back, get to the station to leave the scientists back. The even, poor guy didn't even get to step outside the, 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 the shuttle. Got back home, immediately going back up there. I guess that's his job. You gotta, as soon as you finish one experiment, you gotta, gotta do another.
And then I go home. Yeah, this was a short mission. <laughs> Landing, yes. No promotion and someone else wants a ride. Oh well. Okay, how are the satellites doing? If there are any broken ones. Don't know. Yeah, it might be a random thing. Huh. Okay, you got more satellites. One more satellite needs to go up. Orbit 4. Uh okay, I'll do one more. Yeah, this is you still all, the only available sciences are these military scientists that I, I don't want to deal with anymore okay yeah same thing St stop by the orbit leave the satellite stop by the station pick up the scientists and come back home yeah it should be another quick one Yeah, the first, first thing, first time I, uh, uh, we see a broken satellite, I'm, I'm in the stream because I don't want to have to deal with all the trouble of going back, to, going to the station, fixing a bunch of satellites, going back, back to the station, going home. Yeah, that's too much trouble. And yeah, like I said, we're still almost two years away to the end. I mean, it's still March 2012. This game ends at December 2013, so yeah. Even if I, uh, even if I do another stream of this, it'll probably also be a pretty long one. A bunch of missions to take care of. Okay, orbit four over here. Yeah, I was worried that okay, if I leave uh, another, if I if I leave the rest of this game to another stream, will the uh, will the second stream be just like an hour long or something? But no, I, I think not. The missions are likely to get more and more complicated, even if it's the same amount of time or the same amount of missions. They'll probably take just as long, even not longer. Uh, Right here. Fire the laser. Four. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing this in the game world, having all the all slots filled. I don't, like I said, I don't been been quite a while since I last played this game actually so uh quite many years <laughs> I had to reread the manual to relearn how to play but uh yeah like I said I also don't remember exactly uh how much of this game did I complete cuz like I said this game doesn't have an end screen there's there's no like you win scenario if, if at the end of the uh, time period you get a game over Either, either way, so you just gotta... The objective is just to, when you get that game over, you're at a high rank. I'm, I'm already at a high rank, so... Just gotta... Do enough successful missions to stay here. I mean, I was also kinda curious if this is the highest rank. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I thought Archangel was the highest rank, but then, okay, now I'm, I'm one above. Is there another above Archangel? The manual doesn't say so. 
I'll just have to play to find out. Worth. Um. Um. Yeah, the shaking of when you put the landing gears down, not that much of a problem. It only lasts for a few seconds. Cherub, okay, there is a, okay, there is a ranking above Cherub. Oh dear, I'm just going to go through all the all the angel classifications. <laughs> nice. Yeah, probably because I got uh, one million five hundred in money. Maybe I'll get another promotion at two million. Okay, let's check here. Broken satellites. Okay, yeah, there's a broken satellites. Communication malfunction, but yeah, that's that will have to. I'll have to leave that for next. Any satellites to go up? Nope. Uh, but yeah, that's a good, a good uh, uh, presentation of this how this game works, I guess. <laughs> Save. I'm gonna save. Uh, save multiple slots. Uh, uh, I just want to make sure that I'm not, not going to lose all this progress. Yeah, if I load. Yep, Seraph is here. Yeah, other my other practice runs are here. Okay, yeah. Seraph.inf, that's my save file. Actually I should. Yeah, one million five hundred. I should uh, keep my, my tradition of saving with uh Leo One. My streams. There you go. Oh yeah. Uh, this has been ESS Mega. Pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, like I said, they're kind of simple. I mean, there's the gameplay loop is a little repetitive, although it can get a little complicated later on. But I think it's still fun to manage. Uh, I mean doesn't get too complicated i mean at least not wasn't too complicated for when i was a kid I, I, my younger self was able to handle it so, yeah i enjoyed revisiting it and 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 like i said documenting a, a, a at least part of a playthrough maybe yeah maybe i'll uh, eventually come back to it and finish at least see if I get uh, any higher than Seraph in ranking? I'm kind of curious to, to that, about that. And, and yeah, I want to see if I get any higher than Seraph, and I want to fill out all the all the available slots. There are only three left, but but uh, uh, probably yeah, probably take a while before. Uh, or all, uh, there are more more choices available. I mean, there, there, the the satellites are probably linked to t the timing. So, like, uh, they programmed each satellite to be available at, at a specific time of, of the of the playthrough. So, since I'm, I'm, they might not be available uh, next month or March. I mean, it's April two thousand twelve. They might not be. There might not be any. Satellites available May or June, so they did. I guess the programmers didn't expect me to play this well. <laughs> yeah, still, still pretty fun to go through all the all the 
missions and plan out what you're what you're going to do with each flight where you're going to, want to go to conserve as much energy there there were a couple of risky situations like with uh, collisions and breaking thrusters and running out of life support <laughs> barely barely making running almost running out of, of orbital energies yeah there are a few close calls so it's not like uh this game is like a walk in the park not that hard but not so hard that it gets boring you know there have been risky moments but I mean, yeah i've enjoyed revisiting it but probably not probably won't play it again uh once i finish it but like i said it's uh once you play it through once, the, don't really play, need to play it again. I mean, unless I, I want to go through all the all the levels, but I don't really feel like. I think this one, this playthrough, and this level of difficulty is is good enough. So yeah, good. And that's that's the game over screen that you get when you when the time ends as well. Yeah, I wonder if there's. I think there's, I guess a fail, a failed uh, state. If you you can lose this game if you completely run out of money, if you crash too many times or lose too many satellites, and you don't pick uh, return your don't make a return in your investments, you might lose uh, get to zero zero kilocrons, and then that, maybe that counts as a as a failure of the game, a failed state. You get to listen to the rest of this track. You got interrupted in the beginning. <sighs> so yeah, if you like these kinds of retro games, make sure to follow the channel. I'm always playing them. A lot of them are games from my childhood. A lot of uh, some of the games that I've been interesting, I've been interested in since my childhood. Some are games that I just heard about but got curious. <laughs> but yeah, there's still. Plenty of games to check out, explore. So yeah, hope you had fun. Thank you very much for watching and Happy New Year. Bye.